Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Up off Matt. Up off Matt. <laughs> Won't you believe my neighbor? Oops. Won't you believe? Right? Make you happy. Could you please sing it with me? Bully, bully, bully. <laughs> my neighbor. Hi, neighbor. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Don't. All right, man, look. Who do we have here? My man T, what's going on with you? Chain with ice, what's going on with you? Uh, 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 Draven Kenny. Whoops. All right, man. Lord. First, I want to say this. Like BK said, go to BUSR.com. Go to BUSR.com forward slash showbiz. The place to bet on your favorite fights. Just like this one. Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker. Hit the Tyson Bell. If you don't know, now you know. It's on the zone. And... Uh, uh, I want to say this uh, before I say anything about my black two sugars. Look at my black two sugars. Uh, this there was a there was a lot of like prototype uh, cups and merchandise uh, back when I was working with uh, Hard Knock Nice Live, and it says black two sugars. The two sugars is Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard. Isn't that adorable? And that's the black two sugars. I forgot that I even had that cup. Uh oh, hold on, oh, oh, hold on. I got I gotta put the screen up. Hold on now. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Oh, let me see. Oh, heck you know. Uh uh. What's that? Let's wait for a minute. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Hold on real quick. Hold up real quick. Hold up now. What the heck is going on? There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now. <laughs> now we're ready. Uh I'm looking at the zone. Is this the fight or what's going on right here? Hooker by K. Yeah, uh, somebody, somebody has uh $500 on Virgil Ortiz. And I see there's a lot of you talking about there's going to be an upset. Hit the Tyson Bell. Uh, showbiz, did you see the video I sent you on IG? Um, if that were you, I know I, I got a video uh on ESBC on um uh, es esports boxing club. Um, uh, I think they went live or something like that, but I, ha I had to eat. I had to take, you know, uh, take care of my, my kids and all those things. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty aware of what's going on with esports boxing club. I get emails from them and stuff like that. So there's some, uh, there's some stuff coming for ES, uh, BC coming right down the pipeline on this channel. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am totally plugged in to, uh, esports boxing club. And uh, I'm ready to see what, what's going on with an interview, um, see how we can push this game and make this game. Uh, this is the only boxing game out. Uh, Fight night uh, looks like they're talking about doing something EA Sports. But until then, uh, Esports Boxing Club, we got to get fully behind that. Hit the Tyson Bell. So uh, ESBC, uh, shout out to you guys for giving us the only boxing glove. I mean, boxing uh, uh, game that's in existence. Uh, so we got to totally get behind that, make that you know, a huge thing because anything that markets the sport of boxing, we have to be behind. Okay. And uh, a boxing video game would definitely do that. Uh, and it'll probably be the number one marketing tool for boxing. They, they got over a hundred licensed uh, characters in the game. Uh, so, I mean, it's just, they're, they're really deep diving. You got the WBC behind it. Uh, you got ring uh, ring magazine behind it. You just got, it, it's just totally uh, outstanding what they're doing uh, and they got the real people their photos everything make sure it's a uh, 360 image I mean more than that right uh, so th they're doing a fantastic job uh, so uh, I can't wait to, to speak on them about that showbiz the king of combat media it was written my man 
Uh, what else we got? Uh, they got Bud Crawford, Oscar Valdez, and Caleb Plant. Brother, whenever you got Terrence Bud Crawford, Oscar Valdez, and Caleb Plant, okay, that I didn't know that. I did when did they announce that? I didn't know that. That that right there, geez Louise. I just can't wait to go through the characters and go through everything. Uh, what else we got? Sean Porter too. This this is you you can't you can't get better. That'll probably be the guy I'll be playing with and kicking your asses with is Sean Porter. That that's amazing. Uh, we have to see what's going on with the welterweight division in that game, lightweight division. I mean, they're they're doing fantastic things. I'll probably be playing with current fighters and not even legend fighters. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll be so into uh, seeing what's up with you know Deshaun Porter's, the Terrence Bud Crawfords of the world, and stuff like that. I mean, that sounds incredible. Uh, up off that, just got uh, out the gym. There you go. Waiting on my Chipotle. Yep, ready for this card. Thoughts on Ortiz missing weight. Uh, got Ortiz by late stoppage. G. Uh, yeah. Uh, Marquez too. Yeah, Chiefs. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm going to report all that. Uh, that's 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 exciting to say the least. That's not even the word for it. Um, so what, what do I think about Ortiz missing weight? Nothing. It. Um, nothing. I, I, I spoke on it a little bit, but what do you guys think about it? They got boy too. What do you guys think about it? Um, Ortiz missing weight. What do you, let, let's see what you guys think so I can make sure I'm, I'm on key. What do you guys think? Oops. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hold on. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, at least uh, he got it off. Yeah, better BF uh, with the KO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I called that fight. Uh, he came back and made weight. Uh, number 17 today uh, for Ortiz. Uh, didn't he make uh, weight after, though? Yeah, his second attempt. Yeah. Salute from Dallas, Texas. Uh, he didn't. Didn't he make the weight afterwards? Yeah, it was nothing. Crawford versus Ortiz. Nothing major. Yeah, I thought nothing. Uh, uh, well done for Oak Oakley. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I thought nothing. I thought nothing. Um, I I thought about what I thought when Habib Nurmagomedov uh struggled making weight against Justin Gaethje when the first time he was just like, oh, sh you know, um, that happens all the time. Uh, if it was a if so, he was 0. 0.6 pounds over. If he was one point six pounds over, I'd be like, oh, geez. you know. I mean, I remember when Sean Porter had to cut off his braids and fart to make weight. I thought that was hilarious. He really struggled. He was butt naked and he had to do a breathing exercise to make the weight. Um, I made a little bit out of that, but I mean, unless it's like David Benavidez missing weight, totally missing weight and dropping and vacating the belt. That's something. But 0 0.6. And he looked he looked confused when he missed the weight. He was like, I just weighed myself. He thought it was <laughs> he could he couldn't understand. Uh, so then I mean, what what he do a burp and uh, do. I don't know. Send the sauna for a half a second. He may wait. I mean, that's that's protocol. Uh, he did just fine. Uh, he was off six ounces. Uh, he could have lost that with a fart into. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it's one of those things. Look, how about this? I was in my um, I'm trying to get to 194. I'm at 203 now. And I'm sitting uh, and that's that's the Tyson Bell. I'm, that's the black two sugars because I was just at 225. And then I got to 215, and I was stuck at 215. Now I'm 203. But, um, yeah, I was at my house, perfect, very expensive scale, stood on it, and I was 203.5 or something like that. Went to the gym, no difference, same clothes, stood on the scale. I was like a 204.3. So I'm like, did I gain weight from? No, it's just calibrated slightly different you know so it's like hey so he must have stood on a scale said i'm 147 cool he had all the confidence in the war world stood on that scale and it was 147.6 he was like oh my god and then he that's the official scale so he gotta make weight there may wait uh showbiz what are your odds on the fight what are my odds um i don't really have odds like that but um my prediction pain no what's my prediction Brother, I'm, dude. I gave my prediction um, for the better, you know, during the better BF fight, and it hasn't really changed. Um, I, I I gotta say this, man. Um, I'm. That's a huge step up. <laughs>
And you got to love Virgil Ortiz for that. That's a huge step up, man. From Samuel Vargas to Maurice or Maurice Hooker. Regardless, I mean, I don't give a damn who he fought. That's a huge step up. Not even from Vargas to him. It's just period. That's it. That's I can see. I can see Maurice Hooker. I can see him winning. Hold on, hold on. Let me take off my robe. It's getting hot. Uh, the new Justice League is crazy. Boy, please. That thing is amazing. Okay, I got I gotta watch it again. I'm ready. I'm ready to give another four hours. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I'm going for a hooker 12th round decision upset. Um, here's my problem. Like I said, uh, a few here's my problem with, with Maurice Hooker winning. Maurice, it, it is a very huh type of problem. Uh oh, wait, Craig Earl. Uh, who should have the top five ratings uh on the boxing game? Uh we can talk about that in a minute. Um Dog, these these women scrapping it up. Is this live right now? Here, here's here's my problem. Maurice Hooker will fall in love with his hands. I said that before. Maurice Hooker, he'll fall in love with his hands. He'll let his hands go on Virgil Ortiz. Fat, 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 fat. Come on, like I know Maurice. Hip, step back, pop, pop. Especially if he gets in trouble. Oh, he's punching his way out of it. All right, so with that said, I just think Virgil Ortiz may be a bit too calculated with his aggressiveness for this to, to work for him. It can mess around and work against Maurice Hooker. If Virgil Ortiz is calculated, he's going to be calculated with his aggression. And that, when you're letting your hands go, that, that, that can do you. That can do you in, all right? Ver Maurice Hooker is going to be, look, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. He needs to sit down on his punches. Yeah, when it's necessary, for sure. Uh, showbiz, how can Spence make the weight, but not Virgil? He's bigger. Uh, is Spence on? Are you... Oh, my Jesus. No, 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 no. He just got disciplined and made the weight. It's only 147.6. 147, 147, and then he made 147. I mean, is Spence bigger than Porter? Porter could make weight, right, against Ugas. Right, brother, he just got real disciplined and made the weight. It's just that's that's a horrible, horrible question, bro. To say PDs, that's that's ridiculous. Um, some people just make weight sometimes. Some people be zero point six off sometimes. Um, um, yeah, with Virgil Ortiz being calculated and and aggressive, uh, I I can see him. Yo, I can see him. I can see Maurice Hooker style working against him against Virgil Ortiz. And I heard De La Hoya say that Virgil Ortiz is going to be even more aggressive if that if that can be if that can happen. Uh, but don't be surprised. Maurice Hooker can mess around and be looking good against Virgil Ortiz the first five rounds. He'll mess around and we'll be like, hey man, this is one sided. Yeah, I can see that happening. As far as the top five rated uh, fighters in uh, esports boxing club, uh, the top if well, I don't know if Canelo's in there. Um, it it all depends on who's in there. Uh, Joe Frazier should be very high. I know that he's in there. Uh, Terrence Crawford should be very high. Uh, it all depends on who's if you're a legend. I mean, you should be extremely high. You know, um, so it all depends on who's in there. Um, who else did he say? Sean Porter should be high, but not as high. Crawford should ha have probably the highest, uh, depending on who's in there. Uh, 400 people in a war room smash like. Yeah, everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. Uh, sound like PDs to me? Well, that's because you're an idiot. You know, you don't really understand PDs. And you, you just maybe you don't like Errol Spence. Maybe you're trying to search and find something. Or maybe Virgil Ortiz is on PDs. Maybe, right? I'm not sure who's on PDs. Maybe Virgil Ortiz got steroids and his muscles got too inflated and he wasted. That's just, it, it's dumb thinking like that. It's really dumb. You're, it's it's kind of like, you know, I get home a little late from work and the wifey say I must be cheating. Sound like cheating to me. I mean, you're one of those feminine type of dudes. Um, showbiz, do you think uh, there is anything to difficulty cutting weight in the bubble? Man, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. There's difficulty cutting weight. Hey, let me tell you something about cutting weight. 
These guys go through kidney failure all the time. Do you know that? These guys go through kidney failure a lot. We sit back and say, man, that's not professional cutting. You didn't cut the weight and all those things. Let me tell you something, man. It is try cutting weight. Let me tell you, try cutting 10 pounds by the, by the end of the week. Sit in the sauna. Remember that a story Errol Spence told? I sat in the sauna for an hour and didn't sweat. Sit, sit in the sauna, how boring and uncomfortable that is. And sit in the sauna long enough to sweat off 0.6 pounds. I was in the sauna for a half, a half hour and was the same exact weight that I was when I came in. So I often think about fighters, how much of a science they got this. You have to dehydrate yourself the day before. Dude, cutting weight is tremendous, tremendously tough in the bubble or not. All you need to do is try it. There's people right now in the war room who's overweight and can't even put down a cheeseburger enough for a day. Okay, let alone be a natural 180 pound guy and fight at 147. And boy, please, please, I all I can do is say these people are tremendous, tremendous people. That's all I can say. Uh, Biz, uh, I would like to see Ortiz versus uh Ennis next. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like to see Ortiz versus you know Terrence Crawford, Ortiz versus Porter, Ortiz for I, you know, it don't even have to be Ennis next. I get dog, I'm telling you, a lot of these, there's a lot of these fights that I'm that I'm looking forward to. I like to see Ennis versus uh, Crawford next. Like, there's a lot of fights, man. Hit to Tyson Bale. It's not even, I mean, I like to see, of course, Boots versus Ortiz. But I, Spence versus Ortiz, I don't even, bro, I, I like to see Muzz throw their hands, bro. I'm, I'm excited about anything that comes up. I like Maurice Hooker versus Ortiz now. <laughs> Hit to Tyson Bale. I, even got, I haven't even gotten there yet. So I'm very excited. Is it Aram or Heyman holding up Spence versus Crawford, in your opinion? Um, I think it's the PBC side. Uh, any, I think it's Spence, Al Heyman, the PBC, because they're holding it up, uh, like I said before, uh, that their game plan was 100% to have all the belts happen in-house before stepping out. And you got Terrence Crawford um, and top rank. They they may actually expire, you know. They they there's there's beef between the post and the point. This put the rings in jeopardy. So, Terrence, I mean, uh, Errol the True Spence can mess around and, and fight Ugas in the meantime for the Super WBA title, get three belts. Terrence Crawford in the meantime, Terrence Crawford can leave top rank, and then PBC can pick him up. So there's no need to fight him now when you can keep all the money. So they, you know what I mean. So they're holding it up with a with a business approach idea for me i want to see errol spence versus ugas anyway i want to see terence crawford versus porter anyway there's not just one fight for me see and that's the thing you know like when i heard uh max kellerman stephen a smith going back and forth like errol spence versus terence crawford is the fight man i am trying to see terence crawford versus a lot of guys you hear me i want to see terence crawford versus i know i want to see him versus errol spence yes but that's not i don't just have one nut to bust I, I want to see Terrence Crawford versus Showtime Sean Porter big time. I mean, I'm excited. I am as excited about Terrence Crawford versus Porter as I am about Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence, but that's me. I am equally excited, equally, because I think Sean Porter can beat him. I, I don't know who will win that fight. That fight seems extremely exciting to me. So, you know, man, I'm, 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 I'm elsewhere uh, on that idea. I remember having to make weight for Pop Warner. Oh yeah, it is brutal on my on the mind. You're one of those big kids. I never had to. I was one of the smallest kids. Um, yeah, man. I remember people struggling with that. Other kids, people don't understand fitness, so they believe PEDs are the only answer. Well, yeah. When people talk about, uh, you're right. It's a Tyson Bell. Sound like PEDs to me? That person don't work out. He doesn't work out. He does. He's not. He's not a physical. He's not physical. When you're physical, you can understand how all that stuff can happen. You're a physical person. You're lifting. You're working out. You're sweating. You're making weight. You're boxing. You're you're doing jujitsu and martial arts, and you're doing things. If you're out in the world working out and being a part of fitness, you understand that completely. If you don't, you don't understand it. So everything is PEDs. Look at me. I look like shit. So everybody's on PEDs because I don't look like that. Yeah, everybody project who they are. 
You know what I'm saying? But if if that guy were to get up and try, he'd be like, oh, man, you can do that. And people who can't do it aren't trying hard enough, right? I think Virgil Ortiz, I think he tried. I think what Virgil Ortiz did was he tried to calculate being on 147 on the nose and then rehydrate into this huge because the idea is to walk Maurice Hooker down, walk through his punches and knock him out. That's the idea. So he's trying. he was trying to be right at 147 so he can hydrate to 160 come fight night. Um. And and they 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 I think he they kind of screwed it and you know he was at one forty seven point six regulators mount up um I'm happy I got Ortiz today White Pavekin uh next week brother consistent combat sports you ain't lying uh don't forget about Steve Miocic and uh and, and Francis Naganu uh events coming back. Uh, also, Biz, you're inspiring me to get back on my grizzly. There you go, Eminem. Getting on your grizzly is <laughs> getting on your grizzly. Remember I said my boy was like, man, I'm just trying to get on my grizzly. Though. <laughs> getting on your grizzly is everything. Your money could be your grizzly. Your body could be your grizzly. Your love life could be your grizzly. Just your, your grizzly. I'm done spending money out there. I'm focused and on my grizzly, dog. <laughs> Anything that improves me, I'm on my grizzly. Hey, where have you been, Eminem? On my grizzly. I got a you. You got a five. You got a uh, twelve o'clock shot. You got a full beard from ear to ear. Your hair looks like a mess. Your eyes are beet red. What have you been doing? I'm on my grizzly. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what else is on. Re reading these books that I have up here, I'm on my grizzly. So when I talk to you guys during the live stream, I know something. Hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> have you been watching TV? No. I'm on my grizzly. Hey, say say that again for the people in the back, uh, Biz, uh, about that weight thing. As an amateur boxer myself, cutting weight takes a tremendous toll on the body. <laughs> yeah, they have no idea. No idea. They just PDs. They just you can tell they're gone. They they just gone. Uh, if Porter wins against Crawford, would you like to see him uh, versus Spence again? Yep. And I would like to see him versus Spence again now. If if that was the next fight, I would be extremely excited. Why? Because that's an exciting fight. <laughs> I, brother, you're talking to a guy. <laughs> you're hey, look, you're talking to a guy. And, and, and there's a lot of you guys in here tonight. So hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. I mean, please hit the like button. Help help the uh, the channel grow. Please help the channel grow. We could get to 80,000 subscribers tonight if everybody just subbed. Like, look at the 500 people. If everybody who hasn't subbed hit the sub button, we'll be at 80,000 tonight. If you push off to, to share this link to your social media and stuff like that, don't forget, I'm giving out an AJ, an Anthony AJ Joshua autograph glove. That's on its way now, sponsored by BUSR.com. And we're talking about giving away a Tyson Fury autograph glove. Glove. So, you know what I mean? You're, you're talking about, I'm, I'm not just asking you guys to sub for the sake of it. Y'all, people win all the time. If you've won uh, giveaways, we, we almost have a giveaway. Every, we have a, like almost two giveaways a month. So if you've won a giveaway, say me. I mean, for real. Um... And you get valuable stuff. Autograph Kamaro Usman. I just gave away an autograph to Amanda Nunez, Clarissa Shields card. Um, I'm just giving stuff. I mean, just wonderful things, man. Uh, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder autograph glove. Uh, what else have I given away? I've given away a lot of things, right? Uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, uh, it was like a couple thousand dollars. Uh, uh, that's what DJ for real got. Um, it was a card, a Sugar Ray Robinson card. I mean, I've given away a lot of things. But let me tell you something about me uh, in this community. Let me tell you something about me, man, that that I think you guys are starting to really understand. And new people who come on to this uh, channel is starting to understand. Showbiz loves confrontation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why I never kick anybody off the channel. Unless they're being like super racist or whatever. Unless, let me tell you something. I don't kick people off the channel who disagrees with me. This is a combat sports channel. How can I host a combat sports channel and I can't take words being shot at me? I'm so soft. 
I can't take wor words being shot at me. This is a combat sports channel. I can't even get to the point of throwing hands. I can't read uh, uh, somebody dis uh, uh, disagreeing with me. Come on. We call this the war room. We got the war report. It's the war room because we're going to go at it in the war room because it's a combat sport. So when it comes to confrontation, I'm totally not afraid of it. I actually admire it, which is why I'm a combat sports analyst. Okay. With that said, while other people are for the politics of things, hey, we don't want this fight to happen. I see a lot of you guys in the war room. I don't want Tyson Fury versus AJ. Why? Because I love Wilder. What does that have to do with seeing two people punch each other in the face? Showbiz, why are you pushing an agenda for Tyson Fury versus uh, uh, AJ? Agenda? Agenda? Why are y'all talking about politics? Hey, you pushing. Eddie Hearn said, oh, uh, why aren't you? The PBC said, why aren't you? The, the reason why the PBC is even messed with me is because I don't even think about that. They're, they they re they look at a real one and say, hey, man, you just love the sport. So we can mess with you, showbiz. We can. Um, but with that said, and they've said it in front of everybody in the war room. Look, how why get so involved in the politics of we shouldn't, this shouldn't happen because I'm a fanboy of this. Why are you for that? Why are you against two people getting punching each other in the face? It is so basic for me. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> it is so basic for me. Two people punching each other in the face. That is entertaining. Hey man, you you want to see you want to see AJ versus uh I don't know, Derek Chisora? Fine. <laughs> Derek Chisora is fighting Joseph Parker. Yeah. Man, they're two guys punching each other in the face. <laughs> if you're fighting, I'm good. If you're Twitter fingers, I'm like <laughs> bored. <laughs> uh, Gary Perez, I see you, man. I see you with these big eyes, man. I see you, Gary Perez, trying to get um either clout or trying to get blocked or just the, your name to be said. So, Gary Perez, I'm going to say your name a few times because – Obviously, you're lonely. You don't have a girl, man. You you need a you need a lady, and you're probably very very ugly, and you're um uh smelling your own breath get on your nerves. You know, you know what I mean. Like a hiccup uh makes you want to crash your car into a wall going 100 miles per hour. Like, <laughs> like you just smell that, and you just ready to flatline you. So with your life being so bad, I'm I'm gonna do my best to make you feel better about yourself. And I'm going to say your name. Everybody say Gary Perez's name. Uh, Gary Perez. <laughs> he, he needs it, Joe. I'm telling you, he needs a man to, to give him attention. That's, that's how gone he is. You know, I mean, he doesn't have a female to give him attention. He needs a man. He's like, man, I need a boyfriend, bro. Like showbiz, if you can. And look, I, I, he's, not even, he's not even homosexual. He's like, but I can't get a woman so bad. I need a boyfriend. Can a boy say my name? Some like he is that dude's lonely, lonely, <laughs> lonely. Yeah, everybody got. Yeah, yeah. Help Gary, bro. Help him, cause whoo, that boy there. He's by himself now. He can't. He can't even be embarrassed with a, with a partner. He's by himself now, just getting chewed out. Ugh. His life, woo. Uh, Lee Gonzalez, thank you so much. Uh, hold on, man. I think I'm, I'm, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong thing. Live soon. Okay. What time is it? Six more minutes. <laughs> wow, Biz. No, that's that's on him. That's. That's what he wanted. What it ain't me. Uh, help Gary Perez <laughs> find love, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag find love, Gary. That way he, he, you know, he wouldn't need this for the community. <laughs> Starts in about five. Yeah, yeah. Biz, you streaming? Uh, we wait. I'm wait. Aren't I live? I'm live streaming right now. 
I don't know what you mean. Uh, donating to Gary. He'll need this. Yeah. Thank you, Jonathan Hill. Thank you, John. Give Gary everything he need. That dude right there, boy. Woo. Woo. The, the callus buildup in his right palm. If he's right-handed. No, no, actually, it's not callus. It's so moist and so exfoliated. <laughs> It's, it's like, why is right hand so exfoliated, dog? That dude ain't have a he ain't he don't have a girl. That dude hands were like butter. His hands melt melt like butter. <laughs> his hands like butter. <laughs> he, he he wraps his hand he wraps his hand in like uh 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 orthopedic like a glove that's warm. He he, he wraps it up in, in, in plastic wrap and he sits it on like a pillow <laughs> with, with rose petals. He he soaks his hand in vinegar. So later that night, boy. <laughs> he just sit there with his hand in a fish tank full of vinegar, dog. He just be looking at TV like that hand's about to be ready. <laughs> <All right>, ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> My hands ready. Uh, uh, if if he think he lonely now, wait until tonight. <laughs> We're here to troll Gary. Hey, Gary Perez. Take the Mentos. <laughs> Dog, Gary, that's what I'm saying. Hey, look, Gary, Gary, bro, I'm going to tell you, dog, you're, you shouldn't have came with that energy. Don't come like an asshole, all right? <laughs> Don't do that, Gary. Don't do that. We're in a war room. Don't do that. You knew you were foul. Be, be, be real. Be real. Be solid. Be solid. Come in like that, man. Get, you, you know what I mean? You get ruined. You get ruined. He be pulling the goalie. <laughs> he just said big eyes. No, it wasn't what he said, man. It was his intentions. You knew his intentions. Um, uh, you are uh on your way, Biz. Your animated, exciting character is one of the more unique I ever seen in the boxing community. Uh, you're on your way. Exclusive news insider. Thank you so much. <laughs> Exclusive news insider. That's dope, man. Well, you got a channel that I mean, of course, but that's that's a nice that's a nice name. Uh, Gary failed in life, loser. Yeah, Lady Chan. Look at look at done. La that's Lady Chan too. Lady Chan to mess around and and put some bars together and really make you feel bad. Like she will mess around and wrap it and just mark you, bro. You don't. Leave her alone, bro. Leave her alone. <laughs> uh, Biz, uh, you gonna make Gary cry in the car, brother? He ain't got a car. <laughs> he, 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 he just gotta sit there and cry. Because <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got a car. He would cry in the car if he could. <laughs> uh, uh, Showbiz can't wait to see you on a. <laughs> On side of uh, Stephen A. Me, the new Justice Justice ne League was fired. Man, you ain't lying. <laughs> you gonna cry in his mom's basement? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gonna cry in a radio flyer? <laughs> One of those wagons? You gonna be? You gonna run to his wagon? <laughs> <laughs> that dude gonna cry in a radio flyer, bro. Uh. Most definitely have a channel biz. Shout out to you, man. I'm going to check you out. I'm going to check you out and subscribe. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, Alex Ramirez. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. What time does the fight start? Um, Now. Now, now, actually, yeah, it's on now. I mean, they're they're showing commercials and stuff. The the exfoliant started. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Gary punching the air like like trail. <laughs> oh, boys in the hood. <laughs> what that do? 
Dog, you knew Trey was about to go off. That dude started rocking, bro. He was just, <laughs> it was like, hey. <laughs> and then Brandy, his girl, sat down and was like, dude, hey, I've been there. How many of you been there when somebody's just going off and you're embarrassed but kind of want to laugh? <laughs> like, man, though, these people keep messing with me. <laughs> it's like, it's like, all right. It's like, all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're showing the title sequence uh, for the zone. Um. Uh, who you got, Biz? Man, I, I got Virgil Ortiz reluctantly. <laughs> Dude, my respect for Maurice Hooker is through. The thing is, Maurice Hooker can swap. He can punch. Two- Brother, this is tough. <laughs> no, no. You know what this is? I'm going to tell you what this is. I'm going to tell you what this is. It's the truth. If Virgil Ortiz beats Maurice Hooker, I don't give a damn. I don't care whatever fashion he beats him. We know how good he is. This is it. This is it. Like I said about De La Hoya, this is what I can say about De La Hoya. De La Hoya, bro, he will put his youngsters out there. When they turn 24, when they turn 22, anything from 22 to 24, especially 22, De La Hoya throws you out there. Think about it. Think about it. Think about Canelo versus Floyd, Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell, Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker. Bro, uh, we're debating Canelo, uh, LaMata, Errol, Cotto, Cotto thoughts. Um, man, I may got Cotto. It, that's a tough fight, but I, I, I think I got Cotto. I think he, he, uh, I think he's better than Sean Porter, and I think he, he hits too hard. I think I may have Kodo. I, I thought about that fight a few. It, that's a tough fight to call, but I think I got Kodo. Uh, Canelo versus Lamada. You know, Lamada, man. I got Canelo on points. I got Canelo on points, but boy, Lamada's going to be there and he's going to hit hard and he's going to pressure. But I, I'm just thinking about Triple G. Canelo showed me a lot against Triple G. Um, I think Triple G is a better boxer than Lamada. But Lamada is a more of a hammer than Triple G is. Um, his chin is that's a I mean it's a good fight, but yeah, I wonder who's big. Canelo may be naturally big, strong, bigger. I don't know about stronger. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. I got I think I got Canelo on points. Uh, WDE, what's going on? Leave Gary alone. His sister gonna fight you. <laughs> uh, show biz ain't. <laughs> Ain't uh, ain't no bitch, boy, boy. <laughs> you were here. Oh, here go Ortiz right here against Estrada. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. This, this is the fight right here. Uh, a Ortiz, we, we're going. I'm I'm going to highlight Ortiz on this one. Um, Teofimo versus Ramirez at 140. Who you got? Show biz. Uh, as of right now, I got Ramirez. You know, I I let me tell you, I have a thing for, um. When you go to a per, uh, another weight class against a champion, I I tend to it's very disrespectful. Like it's very difficult for me to be like, you know, this guy's going to come up and beat a a unified champion. You know what I mean? It's very difficult for me. Like at that point, I favor the unified champion. The unified, I favor him. If it's like Mario Barrios, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios, I don't know. That I'm not betting on that whatsoever. I like Ortiz and Hooker. I ain't bet on that. Get out of here. Middleweight, Tito Ortiz versus Triple G. Triple G. Triple G. Triple, that, that's a good fight, but Triple G. Because, yeah, Triple G. Man, look, if Triple G fight him. <laughs> Triple G. He's better. Than his career. There's only one kind of McGregor. You got that right. Triple G. Is better than his career. Triple G. If he was. And it's not Triple G's fault. If Triple G was. They're showing highlights 
from Maurice Hooker. The guy's amazing. It, he's amazing. Like I said, he let his hands go, and he loves it. Uh, Triple G, um, if he was around in the late 70s, early 80s, he would have been one of the greatest middleweights of all time, bro. Like he is now, but he would have definitely been. He would have definitely been. He wouldn't have gotten past uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, but he would have beat some boys down there. Look, Triple G is better than his career. That, that, that's the best way I can put it. That's the only way I can put it. He's better than his career. That guy can fight. That guy can fight. It's just, and he always could fight. It's just his team didn't didn't believe. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I think he should have fought Andre Ward. I, I do. I do. I think he should have already fought Andre. It's It's been three years. Like, I think he should have already fought Andre. I think he should be fighting Charlo. Like, I do. I, instead of looking at Canelo, 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 I'm even, even Triple G is tired of it. Triple G's been tired of it. When he fought Danny Jacobs, remember after Triple G fought Danny Jacobs, uh, Dustin Long, <laughs> Dustin Long's about to fight this new kid, uh, Kyle Carruth. Wow. Um, Dustin Long is there to get knocked out. Um, uh, even tr after he fought Danny Jacobs, Triple G said, these are the type of fights I've been wanting. So, bruh, everybody, please hit the like button. And the wife is home. I can hear her. Everybody, please hit the... I can smell it. I can smell it. What was that on? You guys remember that? That's delirious, Eddie Murphy. I can smell it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, congratulations, Biz. Uh, I tested you, and you didn't uh, fail. <laughs> Oh, that's Gary. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. This guy. Uh, now he's trying to figure out, hey, everybody, take it easy on me. We took it easy on you, Gary. It's over, bro. It's over. Uh, BS, last week was my 20th. And if you remember, I asked if you can tell me a crazy story. Uh, I don't know if Bla Black Sun is coming, but uh, I would like to hear something from him, uh, too, also. Uh, a crazy story. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was a, you, you wanted a crazy college story. Oh my geez, man. I, I got, I got so, I got so many, I got so many. I, okay. So I got this story. I think I told some of you guys this a long time ago, but it's one of my favorite college stories. There was a, a, uh, there was a kid, and this is for your 20th, so happy birthday. There was a kid uh, that nobody liked. <laughs> that was a, a terrible way to start it. But he was a super nerd. I can't, I've always been a nerd, but I, I knew how to socialize better, right? Like, I'm a nerd now, but I can socialize in a way where people say, oh, I don't mind your nerdiness. Well, there was a kid who was... <laughs> Like, he was the one everybody called Urkel, not me. This kid. I met him my first day moving into the dorms. He came in and said, I, 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 and shook my hand. Fine. But one day I was studying with him that same week. And I got up, and I start throwing punches at the mirror so I can stay awake. It was, like, really late at night. Anyway, he was looking at me. And then he stood up. I, I, so he was like, what are you doing? So I showed him, and he did it. And I said, this guy got hands. So we start slap boxing. Pam, pam. And he was nice. <laughs> like, he was nice. This dude had a father. He was nice. He was. So we wrestled. We wrestled. I mean, I beat him slap boxing. I beat him wrestling. But he was so strong. Like this. We wrestled, and he had my wrist control. I'm like, we're, yo, we were going at it rumbling right for like two hours forget studying we rumbled for like two hours and come to find out that kid loved to rumble he he had this thing where he loved to <laughs> he loved to test himself physically so <laughs> so <laughs> right this dude had a father because you know and and you know what i mean there's not a lot of people who have male figures in their lives he had a father who was not just a father, but he brought him to school and his mother didn't come. Like he had, 
Like his father was taught him. Like you, you could tell this guy had a father, though he was. Nah, nah. You could tell. Now, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, if you ever uh get signed to a major boxing promotion as a TV color analyst, promise us you'll keep your YouTube channel going. You're the best boxing channel on YouTube. Thank you so much. Th absolutely, I would never. Absolutely. Uh, more exciting fight: Charlo versus Triple G or Canelo. Uh, hold on, let me finish the story. So anyway, we had this idea to go scare some people in the dorm, and there was one person in particular who was a collegiate wrestler. He was he was in our school. He was a collegiate wrestler. So I dressed up this. I dressed him up in a coat with another coat and another coat to make him look thicker. So you don't know who he was. And I put on a wolf mask. And on top of the wolf mask, I put on a Jason mask. So he had hair sticking out with the Jason mask over YouTube, YouTube. Thank you so much. And he had gloves and everything. So. I, the whole thing was I walked around the dorm floor saying, hey, somebody broke, broke into my room. I'm acting it out, stressing out. Everybody's coming out their dorm rooms. And I'm not, I knock on the wrestler's door and he comes out. I'm like, hey, man, you see this so-and-so, so-and-so? This guy was wearing a big coat. He broke into my room. He took this and that. And he had no shirt on. He said, let me go check. He was the jock of the floor. So he goes walking out. When he walks out, I have, I have him sneak in. So he sneaks in. He goes behind the door. The door is still open. He never closed the door. After walking around, I say, man, I can't find the guy. So we walk back into the room. OK, I have I have him in front of me. He walks in. I walks in. I walk in with him. And then I have I have him slam the door. So he's the nerd is standing behind the door and he slams it. Boom. And when he slams it, the rest of the dude turns around like. <gasps> And he's like terrified because the Jason mask, the hair, the coat, everything that I described. And the, the nerd dude's in there like, and he goes at him like ridiculously. I just wanted him to scare him. The nerd dude tackles him, start wrestling, punching, attacking him. The jock is screaming. Ah! Ah! Get, him! Get him off of me. This collegiate wrestler tough guy was screaming like a schoolgirl. now it didn't help him out because once we we told everybody it was a joke it kind of ruined him but i just want to tell you that story because you never know but you can't judge a book by its cover that <laughs> whooped a collegiate wrestler bro <laughs> all because he had on a coat some gloves to protect him he whooped a collegiate wrestler anyway I became very popular in school. People didn't want me to hang out with. Um, but I tried to. We ended up going to different dorms, and I never spoke to them again. But uh, you will move on to bigger uh, and best things. And when you do, we appreciate uh, you remembering us in the community, my man, DP. Look, uh, but happy birthday, brother. Hey, my man Dustin just got knocked out. Hey. <laughs> My man Dustin just got worked and knocked out, bro. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, hold on, dude. I never see the onslaught. I saw it. I saw it through my peripheral. <laughs> hey, bro. I never. And he bust the backflip. Hey, bro. This was the most wild. This was the most. I'm As I'm talking to you guys reading, I see through my peripheral a one-sided destruction. This Tristan kid. Hey, check him out. Check him out. He comes running out. And brutalize this dude. This dude is laying under the bottom rope, knocked out. Dustin Jones is. Uh, more exciting fight, Charlo versus Triple G uh, or Canelo. Exciting? Canelo, I guess. Uh, quick knockout. Yeah, that was that was that was a barrage of punches. And and my man's laying out. He's not knocked out, he's in pain. He's laid out in pain. I wrestled and boxed a nerd from school. He's from Africa. He is so strong. Man, those must be strong, bro. Those. Yeah. Yeah, you can mess around, try to bully them if you want. They go overboard. Ah! Boy, it is on. Hey, hey, this, this dude came out and wore this dude out. Yeah, he, he's not knocked. He's just in pain. Excruciating pain.
oh, that right came, bruh. He just he just threw a oh the body, he, yeah. Hey, actually, he curled up like like. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, bruh. Let me tell you. So, oh, the body shot. The body shot did it. Body shot. The body shot. Uh, wonderful to watch box office. Yeah, showbiz, the face of boxing, my man. KO and and, and an MMA fighter. Missed my super chat biz. Ed Proctor. Did I? Let me see. Uh, more exciting fight. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ed Proctor. Triple G versus Bernard Hopkins and Triple G versus uh the ghost. Pavlik. Uh, I got Triple G being Pavlik. Bernard Hopkins, man. Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins, man. Um, I, I didn't realize how dominant I thought Bernard Hopkins was until right now. It just uh, Bernard, Bernard Hopkins, man. Bernard, that was he was big too. Bernard was big, big and skillful and strong and and just Bernard, bro. Bernard, he'll beat him. He'll beat him. And and you know what? The second half of the fight, he'll run away with it. Yeah. So that 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 was that was a great matchup because that. I, that was very insightful on how good I really think Triple G is. Bernard, Bernard will beat him. A prime Bernard will beat him. Uh, showbiz, you heard of uh, a Lazo? Pa yeah, Pap. Yeah, absolutely. That's back in the day, right? Uh, McCullum versus Triple. Damn, McCullum. Well, okay. Well, okay, y'all. Good. <laughs> y'all, y'all, let me know where I'm at. Yeah. But I still think Triple G is one of the best middleweights ever. Uh, uh, Hopkins versus Ward. I got Hopkins. Um, the kid is 6'4". He, uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ask Oscar De La Hoya about Hopkins, man. You, Yeah, yeah, you ain't lying. Uh, Canelo is a overrated fraud and is the face of today's uh, diva um, boxing. Uh, Juan Marte Martinez. Okay, so who is who is better? What middleweight is better? He's an overrated fraud. Okay, so who is who is rated properly that's over him? Juan Marte, Martinez. I just want to see how your brain thinks real quick. Uh, Charlo versus Canelo. You missed my last super chat. Uh, that's that that's a good fight, man. Charlo versus Canelo is a is a good fight. Um. I got Canelo right now, but that, that's a good fight. That's that's a good fight. That's a real good fight. Wilder versus Wilder, Wilder, Wilder. I love Roy Jones to death, but Wilder. Um, what else we got? Uh, oh yeah, I did ask Juan Martinez a question, but I, I more than likely he's not he's not going to answer. Uh, let me see. Oh, he did. I don't care who is. I want these divas out of. Oh yeah, then you're just you don't know. You don't. Yeah. I don't care. Ah, I hate everything. Okay, then what do you like? Nothing. Like, then go. Go, bro. Actually, just sit here and and learn to love and be positive. Uh, let me see what else we got. James Tony versus Triple G Prime. Dang. Well, dang, man. Well, hey, you know what? Forget everything I said. Because <laughs> I got James Tony. So forget everything I said. <laughs> just forget everything I said. Uh, Canelo did what Manny, uh, middles, uh, could not do like, uh, school him, uh, on some boxing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's y'all in the war room. Y'all can take care of him. That, that, that dude's, I mean, he's, he's not, he's not worth the, who is this? Dude, I'm looking at the incredible Hulk right now. AJ versus bull, bull, bull. Let me tell you. If AJ can can be like Bo, he'll beat Tyson Fury. Now, now that's the black two sugars. That's the black two sugars. If AJ does his best Riddick Bo impression, he'll beat Tyson Fury. And he can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> Where's Jay? Where's Jay Brown at? You can't shoot me. Shoot me. You can't. <laughs> uh, 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 you think Anthony Yard can be a champ or has uh he he topped out? Ah, uh, 
you know, um, I'm not sure if he topped out, you know, his father passing was, that was, that was, that was huge. Um, I think, I think his gifts, gifts wise, he got a good defense. I mean, he need a, a, a intervention. He needs an intervention. He needs like a Reynoso or something. He needs an intervention. He, he needs something. Derrick James or something. Holyfield versus Wilder. De La Hoya versus Spence. Damn. Dang, Ed. Uh, I got well, Holyfield, I got him beating Wilder. Um, I got him beating, beating Wilder. Uh, I, I think it's a decent fight, but Holyfield, he's gonna number one, Wilder ain't gonna knock him out. Okay. Um, and Holyfield's gonna wear him out. Yeah, he's gonna hit him with too many. He's too fast and too good and fights on the inside. And I mean, you have Foreman. Foreman, that old Foreman is a better fighter than Wilder. That old Foreman that 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 not before the one that was fresher than the one that knocked out Michael Moore. <laughs> like that bald head burger George, that that guy that hit Holyfield so hard, he said he thought all his teeth fell out, and the only thing kept his teeth in his face was his gum shield. That foreman is a bigger hill to climb for Wilder. I mean, for for uh Holyfield than Wilder. Um, and Holyfield climbed that hill. So but De La Hoya versus Spence. That's that's a tough, that's a tough fight for De La, man. <laughs> I mean, my heart says De La Hoya. My well, my boxing brain says De La Hoya because you look at everybody he fought, the Sweet P Whitakers of the world, or the Tito's, Tito Trinidad's, the Ike Cortez, the uh uh the Sugar Shane Mosley's, um uh, uh Bernard Hopkins and you know, Floyd Mayweather and uh, 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 Chavez. And we look at all the guys Oscar De La Hoya fought and look at how well he did, um, especially in his prime, in his welterweight day, like in his prime. You, you think Errol Spence, he hasn't demonstrated that level of greatness yet, but Errol will probably win, man. But my, 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 my brain is saying De La Hoya, but Spencer probably win. I, 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 I've gone back and forth on that. But, you know, when you kind of look at Spence and how he fights behind the jab, Spence is an all-timer. I'm, you know what? I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to do 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 this. Uh, bowl without box, out slug, out everything, AJ. Yeah, he'll beat the hell out of AJ. Uh, I, I'll do it like this. I'll do it like this. I'll do it like this. Dude, I got like a bump. A hair bump right here. That's gonna annoy me. I'm I'm gonna do it like this. Um, Errol the True Spence. We're in a good age. Errol the True Spence, Terrence Bud Crawford, and Showtime Sean Porter are all time great welterweights. All time great welterweights. Now. Um, Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, um, Wilfred Benitez, those boys were better, okay? But not, they were better. But Showtime Sean Porter can fight with him. Terrence Bud Crawford can fight with him. And Errol DeTrue Spence can fight with him. He can fight with him. Duran uh, beat him. I think Duran will beat all of them. Uh, I think Duran will beat Sean Porter, Terrence Crawford, and Errol Spence. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard would, too. Um, Tommy Hearns would, too. Uh, but, but with that said, though, they can fight with them. So I think Errol Spence, Sean Porter, and Terrence uh, – Wilfred Benitez will beat them all, too. So they're, they're a higher class, but they can fight with them, though. Errol Spence would be able to fight with them, though I think they'll win. So, you know, you're talking about a guy who De La Hoya can fight with him. So you're talking about these guys. I think I think Errol Spence can probably fight behind the jab. If you look at what Ike Corte did, I mean, though he lost, some people think he deserved a nod. That was a great question. Um, I may lean towards Errol Spence.
Um, Showbiz, why do you think Duran beats Mayweather? Because he's a better fighter? I don't know. You want you want you want more than that? Um that's a horrible matchup. <laughs> He's a better fighter and, and it's a horrible matchup. Uh uh a new uh, network on the making. One way to your way. <laughs> can Floyd fight with them? Yes. Can Floyd fight? Can Floyd fight with them? Yes. Floyd will beat Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, and Showtime Sean Porter. I, I think. I think they are there. Man, Floyd a struggle. He a struggle, but I think he'll beat him. He a struggle though, but I think he'll beat him. Um, but he ain't beating. Yeah, so he'll fight. He'll fight with Will Fred Benitez. I got Will Fred. He'll fight with Tommy Hearns. I got Tommy. He'll fight with Duran. I got Duran. He'll fight with Sugar. I got Sugar. But Floyd will be right there. It'll be some fantastic fights. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, he'll struggle with Will Fred, though. That, that's, that Will Fred defense slickness, hand speed, pop, it, that's, that's a problem. Will Fred's a, prob a big problem for him. Uh, Sugar is in pop. That's, he ain't beating Sugar. Um, he ain't beating Hearns. So between Hearns and the, the, you, man, he ain't, his best chance is Will Fred and he ain't beating him either. Now, how about that? <laughs> he ain't beating him either. <laughs> Lennox versus uh, Wilder, Fury, and AJ. Lennox? Lennox beats, number one, he knocks Wilder through the bottom rope. Wilder and AJ, he knocks through the bottom rope. His best chance, the who has the best chance is Fury. And Lennox knocks his ass out too. <laughs> I, 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 hey man, I may got Spence beating Trinidad. There was a, I was thinking Trinidad for if you would have asked me this two years ago before I saw Spence against the likes of Danny Garcia after an accident and how he outboxed Danny Garcia. Because don't forget, I have a huge amount of respect for Danny Garcia. How he outboxed him after the accident and being laid off. <laughs> Like what he did with Showtime, Sean Porter, how that fight went. You know, before all that, I would have said Tito. Now, man, Arrow may get him, bro. Dog, no, Arrow is, I think Terrence Crawford will get Tito, man. Do Tito is fantastic. But Tito's fantastic. But these boys, Crawford and Arrow Spence, you got to put respect on their name. When it comes to where they rank, in my opinion, they're like in between the the sugar and them. They're in between them and like Oscar De La Hoya Trinidad. They're like right. They're sandwiched in there because you start thinking Sugar Shane Mosley versus uh Spence. You know, sometimes I feel like Sugar, but Sugar Shane Mosley versus Spence. They, they're yo those guys right there, bro. Right there. No way, biz man. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But check check out some Trinidad fights, man. You know you you can catch Trinidad nasty. You see how Oscar De La Hoya outbox outbox Trinidad? Hey, bro. You see how Oscar De La Hoya? Now they gave Trinidad the fight, but Oscar De La Hoya popped at it, and and I wasn't even mad because because Oscar De La Hoya got some gifts. Okay, so I wasn't even mad that they gave T Tito that gift. Um, but Oscar, Oscar, uh, bo boxed the brakes off of Tito. He did. You saw what Winky did to Tito? <laughs> the Vargas dropped Tito. It was a slugfest for a minute. Dog, Tito is nice. One of the greatest ever. But, man, don't be surprised if Terrence Crawford knocks out Tito. <laughs> and that's the black two sugars. That's the black two sugars. Don't be surprised if Terrence Crawford knock out, would knock out Tito. We'll see once we get to box in heaven. We'll see. Uh, BUSR.com forward slash showbiz. Place a bet on your favorite fights. Ron Lau versus. Oh, I got smoking Joe. I got smoking Joe. Um, shouldn't have slapped on him. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, I remember Vargas versus Mosley. Uh, can Pacquiao compete with the top dogs in 2021, 2022? 
You talking about now? No. <laughs> I mean, compete? Yes. Win? No. I don't. I don't think. I don't think a forty-two-year-old Manny Pacquiao could beat Terence Crawford, Errol Spence. I don't. Don't. You know, I don't, bro. It, we'll just have to see because I don't. I don't. I, I think Prime he beats them both, but now, uh, let me see. Uh, Frazier versus Lester. I have never heard that before. Surprisingly. I'm about to hurt my damn feelings. Lester knocks his ass out. <laughs> I'm about to hurt my feelings. You got to listen to Lister knocks his ass. <laughs> I love both of you boys. Oh my God. Oh, uh, Loche versus Willie Pep. That's a good fight. That but, but, that's a good fight, believe it or not. Uh Pep. Uh, look at Virgil Ortiz. He's walking into the into the dig. Um, I think Tito catches Spence for some reason. And then what? Bro, Spence is a dog. Spence is a dog. Tito will catch him. Then what? Spence is a dog, man. He mess around, take that fight to Tito, and it it'll be something. Dog, look, man. The, yeah, I I can I can see I can see Tito. Tito can beat him. Oh yeah, he can, he can. He's too great not to be able to. I, but who I put my money on, man. I may have to put my money on Spence, man. I may have put my money on Spence. Uh, my dad talks about how Bud fights like Marvin. Yeah, he does. He does. He very well does, Devin. Your dad is absolutely right. He very well does. Well, that was a joke. First round KO, uh, time to retire. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're talking about old fart that jumped up in there, lady? Yeah, old fart jumped up in there, was holding his ribs for a half hour. Um, Cesar Chavez Sr. versus Spence and Crawford. Whew. And that's Chavez. That Chavez was was something special. Uh, yeah, I, man, Crawford has a better chance than Spence. I'll tell you that because of the style. Crawford has a better chance than Spence. Uh, man, Spence Spence going to be in hell. He's going to be in hell. I I that that's a tough fight for Spence because yeah, Spence going to be in hell. He he's going to he's going to end that fight saying I I I, I could you I could have died. <laughs> He's going he's going to end that at Lopez versus Lopez. He's going to end that fight saying I could have died, bro. Real talk. Like uh that's a grueling fight for Spence. Crawford has a better chance. Um Biz, what it do, baby? Boy, 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 boy. What's going on? James Tony versus Triple G. Yeah, I got Tony. Uh Tony. Uh, I totally agree, Biz. Them boys for real about this. Man, you ain't lying. Uh, Norris versus Spence. That's almost the same guy. That's almost Spence versus Spence. It's almost like the original Spence versus Spence. Uh, Terry Norris too big at this point. Uh, I, I would say Terry Norris at this point. As middleweight, you know, at this point, he's too big. Uh, what else we got? Showbiz. Harry Simon versus Errol. Ah, look at y'all. Look at y'all. I know I let me wait on that. I know too much about uh I know too much about Spence right now. Hearns beat the hell out of Spence. Hearns beat the hell out of Spence. He outbox him. He he her, that's Hearns versus Terrence Crawford is a better fight. Hearns will beat the hell out of Spence, bro. And I love Spence like a play cuz, but Hearns will beat the hell out of him. That's a horrible matchup. I I'd rather Spence versus Sugar than Hearns. That's a horrible matchup for Spence. Hearns, that's a horrible, hor horrific matchup. Horrific. Uh, I think Best Life sent me a super chat, though. I, I ain't even going to mess with y'all. Best Life did. For the community, thanks. There you go, the beautiful Best Life. You ain't even have to do that, Best Life. You've been here since day one, and you did it anyway. 
you did it anyway. <laughs> there you go, my girl, best life. Wow. For the community. To a don't brother, if you're gonna say wilder, give me wilder versus um uh bird. Wilder versus John Ruiz. John Ruiz. Give me Wilder versus uh um th those boys. <laughs> that that's that's the that's Samuel Peter. Wild Wilder versus Samuel Peter. Wilder versus uh um what's that kid name? Um Fast Eddie Chambers. Wilder give me that. Give me that. Don't give me Wilder versus Tua, Wilder versus I could be a Bucci, Wilder versus uh, you know, Mike Tyson and Holyfield and Wilder. Don't give me those. Don't try man. I got Buster Douglas beating Wilder. I got uh the Buster Douglas that that beat Tyson. I got Buster Douglas beating him Bo. I got uh Mitch Green getting in that ass. I got a uh, dog. There's there's a, there's enough guys. Tim Witherspoon getting that. There's enough guys. Uh, you know Wilder has to go against guys that he can exploit. That is just the the new era heavyweight. See Wilder brought back since Wilder. Think Wilder was that that tunnel. He wasn't the best of them. Wilder Wilder is that tunnel back. To heavyweights being lighter, right? That's why you had that bridge of weight idea. He's a tunnel back into heavyweights being good again. Him, AJ, now you're starting to head back to heavyweights being in shape, can move, athletic. That's a heavyweight. Wilder was is not a technically good fighter, but he exploited these big, fat, can't move heavyweights to let people know that is not the future. The future is me. Me. The future heading back to the past. He was the gateway to let you know. Wilder, it, Wilder isn't the, the standard. He's the gateway. Like, oh, we got to be more like Wilder. We got to be lean. We got to be able to move. Stuff like that. But he, he's, he's just the, he's the dawn of like, oh, okay. But that, he can't beat those boys. He can't beat those boys. Uh, do you know Antonio Tarver uh, is fighting in April? Yeah, against Frank Mir. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Wilder, man, Buster Douglas getting that ass. Wilder versus Butterbean. Yeah, right. Wilder knock out Butterbean. Uh, let me see. Mitch Green. Man, Mitch Green. Yeah, it's funny, but Mitch Green, I understand you got the Jerry Curl and the Tyson situation. I'm talking about Mitch Green, who, who, who got the fight with Tyson? The reason why that fight was a thing. Don't forget, Tyson ain't knock out Mitch Green, and Mitch Green fought Tyson on the streets too. Tyson is funny because he had a curl with the swollen eye, but think about it. He fought Tyson on the streets. He was all up in tight. He was living rent free in his head, you know, going to Tyson's training camp and acting crazy as hell on Booger Sugar. And that dude fought Tyson 12 rounds. Look at that Mitch Green and Tyson fight. And then just start looking at Mitch Green. Man, Mitch Green, uh, that curl will be popping. He'll be knocking. Fight, 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 fight. Man, Wilder be out in about seven rounds, bro. <laughs> and that's the black two sugars. <laughs> Virgil Ortiz versus Boost Ennis. I, like I keep saying, I think Ennis has a higher ceiling. But I think Virgil Ortiz is better now. Uh, this could never be. But who is closest to Roy Jones Jr. right now? Boots? I, I don't know, bro. Boots, I guess. I don't know. It's tough. Uh, after 18 months with my boyfriend, um, we just found out our families grew up together as kids. Wow. Now I call him my play cup. Hey, hey, Andy, hey, 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 hey. He hates that. It's your fault. Hey, <laughs> love you like a play cup. <laughs> you so bogus, lady. You so bogus. Hey, that's my play cup, right? <laughs> you so bogus. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Hagler versus Ray Robinson, YouTube chat. Uh, word is bond, my man. Good fight. I got Ray Robinson. Good fight. Because Ray Robinson, Ray Robinson gonna have to Ray Robinson mess around and give uh Hagler something to think about the way Hearns did. When Hearns landed that right hand that cut his forehead. That was the only time I've ever seen Hagler buzz for a quick second. It was a quick second. Um, 
I think Sugar Ray Robinson will beat him. Sugar Ray Robinson will sit down on some stuff, though, and let him. And Sugar Ray Robinson's chin too good for Hagler to knock him out, too. Um, it's a good fight, though. But Sugar Ray Robinson, I, I think he'll beat him. That Monzone was always a tough fight for me when it comes to Sugar Ray Robinson, that middleweight. Monzone fights a certain way that's kind of like, that's a tough fight. Um, okay, all right, all right, all right. So we got uh, uh, Nino, uh, M. No Lopez versus J. Lopez. And this and this this Nino is looks like the Hulk. I'm sorry, but um, it's a ten round fight, two minutes thirty seconds uh into the first round. Let's call the fight. Look at the head movement of of M Lopez. I think he's a little too muscled though. I really do. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, he's he's walking J Lopez down though. A good jab from 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 M Lopez. A good one two from J Lopez. I'm going to say Nino versus Doberman. Doberman shooting a jab, good head movement from Nino. Good, good jab to the body from Nino. I, I really feel like Nino is too muscle, too muscled up. Probably not for this fight. We'll see. But, uh, oh, good jab from Nino. I just don't, I just don't like the way he's, uh, the way he's built here. For his for his height. Good jab from Nino. Good jab again from Nino. Nino's good. Nino's good. Good jab. Oh, good right hand from Nino. He's good. Good. Uh, but that, that was some good defense from Doberman. Nino's gonna catch up to him. Look how Nino's working. It's funny. When the bell rang, they just Nino just came out. You know, he just came out. Look how many people in the crowd, though. This is really getting very, 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 very. Like, I'm getting optimistic here. Good jab. Look how many people in the crowd. Good jab again. I, I remember when it was just dark and just pictures. Look at this. There's people there. Like, good combination uh, uh, from Doberman. He, he threw, like, a combination. But that jab from Nino is really working. And he's just good combination starting at the body upstairs. It was like an eight punch combination from Doberman. Dober Doberman's getting busy. Um, he just needs the space. He yeah, and he's and he's finding different ways to create the space. He's throwing feints. He's he's doing certain things to create the space. He's doing the right thing because Nino is applying a lot of pressure, and he's making um, Doberman fight a lot. Right, so Doberman got to let his hands go a lot. He got to move around a lot. He got to show a lot of different angles. He got to try to push him back. All of that is just a mental fatigue that really works when you are a pressure fighter the way Nino is. And and Nino is making a miss, too. I could be a Bucci versus Fury. When I'm calling the fight, it's going to be hard to see the super chat. Uh, Moore versus Wilder. Uh, yeah, like um, like I said, uh, I think Moore messed around and beat Wilder. Um, I could be a Bucci would beat Fury. Uh, that's That's how I feel. I keep be a Bucci punch too hard and he's too busy for Fury. Uh too good of a boxer and he punched too hard and too busy. It won't work for Fury. Um I think uh more jab is too good coming out to Southpaw. He's just too good of a fighter. And uh I'm not sure if Wilder would be able to withstand um that type of boxing pressure from um from more. Now my whole thing is if Moore try to fight fight him the way he did Foreman, then yeah, it, it all depends on if Moore because Moore, yeah, yeah, because Moore can mess around and get um uh what he more more was at fault though. Foreman was great for knocking him out, but Moore was was Moore was was too uh he he did, oh, he could have boxed and stayed away from Foreman. But he was going against his own corner. Teddy Atlas, Teddy Atlas was telling him, stay away from him. He's timing you. And Moore was being boneheaded. Moore had Foreman completely outclassed. Completely. All fight, he had him outclassed. But he just was trying to knock Foreman out. That, that's a silly thing. But the way he was outclassing Foreman, that same Moore would beat Wilder. You know, as long as he doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good pressure from Nino. Good jab from Nino. Little return hook from from Doberman. Right hook from Doberman. Good jab from Nino. 
you know, Doberman just knows that he has to keep his, his guard nice and high and and be busy and be busy. Good jab from Nino. He, he, I mean, really, that's the ticket. He got to be busy. But, you know, I, I think Nino won the first round, and I think he's doing the right thing this round. Uh, Nino does. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. That was an overhand right that wobbled Doberman, and he couldn't get his legs together, and he just took a knee. He couldn't get his legs together. He did a smart thing and took a knee. Yeah, take a knee. Take a knee before you get hurt permanently. And here come Nino. He's going to come running out. Take. Oh, shoot. No, no, Doberman's not right. He's not okay. He's not okay. He's not. Oh, good uppercut from Nino. He's not okay. He's not. He's trying to get his legs together. He's hopping around. Oh, my God. Good jab from. Oh, good body shots from Nino. It, it's, about to, it's about to be a wrap. It's one minute, 18 seconds left. And, oh, good right hand from Nino. I can't believe Doberman took that. He doesn't even know he took that. His head snapped, and he just kept punching. Body sh No, no, no. Uh, uh, Doberman start uh, complaining about a rabbit punch. Nah, brother. Uh, Nino got him against the ropes, but he boxed him against the ropes. He's boxing him against the ropes. Good head movement from uh, Doberman. Oh, left hook to the head, left hook to the body. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, Nino's about to knock him out, bro. He's, he's just missing him with. Good right hand from, oh, good right, oh, my God. Oh, good, Doberman uh, punch uh, Nino off of him. Nino say, yeah, that's some that's some good warrior stuff right there. Dude, oh, my goodness. Good, good, good hooks to the body from Nino. My goodness. Yeah, Doberman taking a fight to him. He has to. He has to. Got to punch him off of him. And he did. He made Nino slow down a little bit, slow down his onslaught a little bit. 15 seconds left in the second round. I thought it was a wrap. I really did. I thought it was over. They both exchanging jabs. Doberman taking a fight to him. This is a beautiful. Oh, gosh. Oh, right hand from Nino. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, he hurt. He hurt Doberman. Dog, this is. Wow. 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 Biz, uh, Chico versus Tank. Who do you got? Diego Corrales versus Tank. Good fight. My problem with Diego is uh, he stringed too many punches together. But that's a good fight. Diego can put himself in a position to get knocked out. Uh, Tank is one of those guys that pack type of punch. I realize now to knock anybody out. Like I don't think Tank would beat Castillo. So, um, not the Tank I've been looking at. Uh, I don't think he can beat Castillo. Um, oh, wait, the third round. That's a good fight. I can't. I can't call it right now. That's that's too good of a fight. I I got to see Tank against Mario Barton. I got to see him some more. That's a good fight. A uh, good jab from Nino. Good jab again from Nino. Good jab again from Nino. My God, they all those jabs landed. It split the guard. All all three of those jabs split the guard. Good jab again. Split the guard. Jab again. Good combination from uh uh, uh Doberman. Good jab again from Doberman. He, he, he's stepping away from that corner, doing doing a wonderful wonderful job here. What I'm saying is Nino had him press against the corner and he fought good right hand from Nino. Hey man, Nino hands are deceptively fast. That's that's the problem. Not only is he strong and a good slugger, his hands are deceptively fast. Doberman threw oh god, that left hook to the body from Nino. Doberman is trying to punch. Oh my good jab from Nino. See, because not only is Nino pressuring him and hitting him with good shots. He's hitting them with technical shots, good jabs, right hands, uh, set up uppercuts, counters. Um, Nino is pressuring him, but he, he's doing it in a very Henry Armstrong, highly technical boxing way. <gasps> oh, my God, dog. That was a delayed knockdown again. Nino hit him with an overhand right. And Doberman has this very brainy way of knowing that his legs are gone and taking a knee. A very brainy way of doing that. Because it's a very brainy thing that, that Doberman is doing. But still, 
I mean, you're losing points that way, but still, it, it, so he can have, so he can not be in too bad a shape to try to finish the fight. It's a very brainy thing. If if people choose to do that, that's a smart thing to do. Good combination from Doberman. If you know you're that hurt. Oh, good right hand from, from Nino. Brother, the dog. Oh my. Oh, that's a rabbit punch. No, that's a rabbit punch. That's a rabbit punch. And Doberman is trying to uh, get out of the fight. He got caught with a rabbit punch and he laid down and he, I looked at him. He just looked at the corner and with his eye, he's trying to get out of it. He's, he's, he's not going to want to get up. He's trying to get out of it. Yeah, he's trying to get out of it. And this ref isn't giving it to him. He's telling him to get up. He's telling him to get up. Tell him to get up and fight. And he's rubbing his head as if he got elbowed in the back of the head and not punched with the glove. He's rubbing it. He's rubbing it. Bro, I understand rabbit punches, but he's definitely trying to get out of this. He's trying to get out of this. But the rabbit punch wasn't Nino's fault. Look at how he ducks. Watch this. He turned, see, his head, where his head, look at how Foreman knocked out Frazier when he swatted him. Go, guy, good jab from Nino. Nino, oh, he tried to throw a combination, Nino hit him with right hand. Oh, my God, good right hand from, from Nino. Oh, oh, good left foot. Oh, my God, Nino was hitting him with some heart. Oh, my God, the slugging. This is. Oh, my goodness. Nino's punches are too educated. Oh, good right hand from Nino. Oh, my goodness, bro. Bro, his punches are too educated at this point. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They're, 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 Doberman is trying to slug. Oh, he threw a right hand uppercut. Nino, his, a, 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 a ref, ref, ref. Oh, okay, that's the end of the round. Bro, this, this, this here, this here, this here. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, y'all got to start thinking. Y'all got to start thinking, bro. Uh, a uh, beautiful fight so far. Hugo, you not playing. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you, though, they got to start. They got to start talking. They got to start, start looking at this. Yo, that right hand, hand from Nino, as he stepped back, was from the hip. It was a look. Look at this right hook that he landed on 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 a Doberman. Look at this. Watch how he steps back. Watch this. Bam! Oh Lord. Oh wait, it's the next round already. Oh my goodness. Doberman throwing a lot of shots. Doberman cannot get through the defense, the tanking defense of Nino. He can't. He can't get through. He can't. He can't. Look at the, look at the combinations. He cannot get through. He can't get through. Good good jab from Doberman. Good uppercut right hand from Doberman's working. He's throwing. Oh, good uppercut from Nino. Oh, right hand. Nino got him against the ropes, and they're trading. But Nino is flexing his neck, right? He's biting down on his gum shield, and he's swinging because he's like, okay, if you catch me, you catch me. He got cut. Nino got cut nasty. Nino got cut on the, on the eye bridge, nasty, nasty style. Hey, he got cut nasty style. And now, now Doberman knows it. He sees blood. Yeah, no, nah, that was a push. The ref is counting. But you know what? Doberman took the knee himself when he pushed him. You know, that, that, that's, that what Doberman gets. He, he, didn't, he didn't get pushed down, okay? But he, he act like. The push was more than what it was, and they called it a knockdown. Good jab from – oh, good right. Okay, the cut doesn't go – it's not going into the eye. It's on the outside of the eye. Good right hand from Doberman. Good uppercut. Hey, look, Doberman's swinging, and, and Nino feels if he swings with him, he's going to best him. Hey, good good combination from – dog, this is – they're slugging in a phone booth. They're forehead to forehead slug. Hey, good low shot, though. From Doberman and and, and and the ref missed it. Nice way to hit him hit him on the cup and keep keep moving. Hit him on the cup, keep moving. Good jab from Nino. Oh gosh, gosh, good educated punches from Nino. Uppercut, then body shot. Some something, something stymied uh Doberman real quick. I don't know what punch it was, but it slowed. Oh Lord. Oh, 
brother, they're swinging and there's some punches getting thrown in exchange. That is just tremendous. I don't know what punch. Oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, oh, okay. Hey, 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 ref. Oh my God. This is insane. 40 seconds left. This is only the fourth round. Oscar De La Hoya is like, what did I, what did I do? This, I cannot believe I put this fight together. This fight is, yo, look at Oscar's face. He's like, oh, Doberman landed a good shot on him. Oh, good upper, oops, oops. He got hit in the body and he said, hey, you hit me in the body. And Nino's like, I know, I sure I did. Good combination from Doberman, but they got no funk on it. Oh, Lord. That right hand from Nino just hurt Doberman. So nine seconds left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that right hand from, oh, my goodness. That's a, hey, that's it for the round. That's it for the round. Hey, clean. Oh, my goodness. 87, Tony Tucker versus 93, Ray Mercer. Mm. I may go all Mercer on that one, man. <laughs> that's a good fight, though. Uh, Porter versus Mosley. Winky versus this is a lot, bro. Uh, Winky versus Spence. Uh, Crawford versus Forrest. Whew. Huh. Well, I, well, I I don't know about Crawford and Forrest. Uh, I got Winky beating Spence. Porter versus Mosley. Oh, I think I got Mosley. That's that's that was good. Completely off topic. Uh, rate Lesnar's athleticism. Brock Lesnar, extremely athletic, beyond it, a 10, I don't know, some, something like that. Him jumping onto that, even in WWE when he jumped onto that ring, but a collegiate wrestler at that size and what he was doing, I guess a 10, you know. Um, what else we got? If it's out of 10, he probably a 10. All right, here we go, uh, fifth round. Oh. Look, 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 look at the way uh, uh, Nino is, is, is pressed. Oh, God. Oh, the uppercut from Nino knocked the sweat. <laughs> it looked like just let your soul glow. The, the hair, the, the beads of sweat. I, I saw every bit of it. Good body shot from Dope. Oh, left hook from Nino. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness, bro. Dog, Doberman has more heart than a little bit. How he still... Punching is beyond me. Is beyond me. Doberman is at, oh, oh, dog, that left hook from Nino just rocked. <laughs> oh, my goodness. His punches are just more educated, man. A good right hand from Doberman. Oh, good body shot from Nino. Oh, my gosh. Good one, too. This is a, this is a life altering fight. Like, oh, my. <gasps> Brother, the one-two from Nino against the ropes. Oh, my God. Uppercut left hook. Hey, ref. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. He said he quit. Doberman said he quit. He spit out his mouthpiece. I quit. I quit. I quit. <laughs> Bruh. He, five. Six. Seven. I quit. Eight. <laughs> Jeez. Doberman quit. Gosh. He, oh, oh, Nino doesn't even know. He's like, what? What happened? He quit. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Nino's over there ready to fight. <laughs> like, like, calm down, bro. That was amazing. Yeah, shout out to Doberman. Gosh, hit the Tyson bell. My God. Salvador Sanchez versus, versus Canelo. Do you know what weight classes you're talking about, man? Um, fight is over. Yeah, yeah. Great commentary, Biz. Wonderful to watch, man. That was amazing. So who won again? M. Lopez. Um. Oh my God, y'all, y'all. Y'all running so many fantasy fights. Uh, Lopez should retire uh, after 12 losses. Well, and do what? Let me ask you this, Cruz. Um, and do what? Let me, let me ask Cruz. After 12 losses, 
He said the Doberman should retire and do what? Shoot himself in the face. <laughs> You're the best uh, boxing YouTube analyst. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just, look, let me tell you what these, what, what you guys don't really understand. Uh, add years to his life. Let me tell you what, and as what? Let me tell you what you what you all understand, Cruz. Okay, and and for anybody who's like Cruz out there, there's something called passion and doing what you love. Okay, that's number one. If you don't have a love and a passion, you'll never know. Um, so a lot of these fighters, they can't stay out. They love it. I, I'm sorry, I'm a fighter. I'm sorry. Hey, you should do the smart thing. You should add years to your life. The smart thing is to never to box in the first place. Everybody who's boxing is a dumb idea. Okay, <laughs> it's a it's not the smart idea, but it's the love idea. Nothing about boxing and fighting for a living is a smart move anyway. So at that point, they're doing it out of love anyway. And if you don't have a love, you won't know. On top of that, and do what? That's all he knows. That's his check. He just fought on the zone. That this fight has earned him another fight. That's another check. So he, he has a livelihood doing what he loves. I mean, if I can't call fights and study boxing and read on a history of boxing and learn about the MMA and all these fighters and stuff like that, I'm still living, but I'm less happy. You know? People was wondering why Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones. Man, when I spoke to Mike Tyson, he's like, dude, this is the happiest I've, I've been in years. I, I, it seemed like I was happy. I wasn't happy. But when he started training for a fight and punching, and he was happy. He was, he was literally happy. So you can't blame people for being happy. You can say what's, what would make you happy about them. You'll be happy if Lopez retires, if the Doberman retires, and you never see him again. But that's the thing. You'll never see his life again. You don't know what he's going through. That dude. No, nah, man. I think it's all up to him. It's all up to him. Um, What time is it? Game time. I think we got uh, uh, or, or, uh, Ortiz versus Estrada next. Uh, females. Yeah, mad respect for Doberman. My man said, what time does the fight start? It's, it's, the, it's the main card. It's the, it's the main event. So I think there's another fight. I think it's Ortiz versus uh, Estrada. And then you have or Ortiz versus Hooker. Holyfield versus Cleveland Williams. That's a tough fight. Uh, I, that's, that's a terribly tough fight. Uh, I got Holyfield. I always struggle with Holyfield versus Cleveland Williams, Holyfield versus Ken Norton. Uh, I think Larry Holmes would be Holyfield, though. Like a young Larry Holmes would be Holyfield. But I think Tyson would be the young Larry Holmes. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I always struggled with that. Like Holyfield versus, you know, Sonny Liston. Always struggled with that. Always. You're really going to struggle with all of them, right? You can't. You're trying to imagine what the fight would be like, and you'll never know. I mean, it's it's. It's such a struggle, man. It's such a struggle. No, Larry beats Tyson. I think Tyson beats Larry. I think Tyson beats Larry, but we're just going to be stuck, right? I, I can understand why you think a young Larry Holmes would be Tyson, but I think uh, Tyson would be Larry, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I just saw, I saw a few fights to let me kind of know it. You know, I, I saw the war with Larry Holmes and, um, an old old Ken Norton. I saw Larry Holmes versus Shavers, and Shavers almost knocked him completely out. Right, so I saw a couple fights with Larry Holmes in his prime, and then I saw when he find when he lost to Sphinx. Right, um, I saw some stuff to say, okay, a prime Mike Tyson, the one that fought the old Larry Holmes, him, um, that Tyson would catch Larry Holmes. I think I think he'll finish him. I think he'll finish him. Uh, Biz, you smoke weed? No. No, I don't. I don't smoke. I barely drink. Uh, Shavers, hardest hitting heavyweight. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, I could believe it. 
I can believe it. Oh. Uh, Man, I love how down to earth you are, big homie. Uh, never a dull moment, broski. My man. Uh, let's see. Uh, showbiz. We on our grizzly. You ain't lying. I love the channel. Thank you so much. Quick Tillis. Quick Tillis was. Wait, oh, I think y'all probably talking about people surviving, like James Quick Tillis. People surviving Mike Tyson. James Quick Tillis was 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 nice. God, he he was nice. He was nice. That was a ten round fight, not a twelve though. But yeah, um, we back on our grizzly. Everybody hit. Oh yeah, there's eight hundred and fifteen people in here. Everybody, please hit the like button and subscribe and subscribe, yo. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. You know what? Be a show business partner. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, go to Instagram, showbiz underscore the underscore adult. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Like, you know what I mean? Go to busr.com forward slash showbiz. Place a bet on your favorite fights. Uh, the link is in the description box. Man, check out my website, showbizadult.com. But before you do all that, hit the subscribe button. That's the easiest thing to do out of all the things. Uh, let's see what we got. I think Doorman uh could have kept going very entertaining fight. Uh the will to fight was strong. Yeah, yeah, Thor's brother. That, that was amazing. Uh, DePaul, Turner, uh, Floyd, or Duran. Uh, we spoke on that. Um, I said Duran. Uh, let's talk about Jamal Duncan, Benav Jamal Duncan Benavidez. <laughs> uh, Jamal called out Benavidez. Uh, said that he had knocked his ass out on uh, the Brian Custer after he saw uh, Benavidez versus Ron Ronald Ellis. Before then, he was saying that Benavidez was too young. Then he said, I'll fight him at a catch weight. Um, but after the Ronald Ellis fight, he said he'd knock his ass out and he wants to fight. So he ain't ducking him now. You know, it seemed weird at first though. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, please. Can you talk about Tyson versus Bruce Selden fight? Yeah. Bruce Selden was ready to go before Tyson started. Right. Uh, Bruce Selden got hit with a good enough shot to say, let me be done. Right. right let me get this check. And the funny thing is, he was trying to, like I said, it's always difficult to act lethargic. It's difficult to act hurt. That's why you can tell when somebody isn't. You can tell when they're acting because they do all the things you would do if you were acting. You know, he stood up. Like, you know, yeah, I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. But it was a good enough shot to where he said, yeah, I'm about to go. Let me just go. All right. Uh, not like the black rhino. The black, black, black rhino got caught and went. All right. Um, but Bruce Selden, he he sold it, but he was going to beat Mike anyway. Uh, why do you, why you think Porter hasn't activated his mandatory? He is the mandatory. Wait, I don't understand. I don't understand the question. He's the mandatory. Wait, I don't understand that. Wait, what fighters activate their mandatories? It's up to the sanctioning body. He's a mandatory. It's just um, you get so much time to fight your mandatory. Uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, he has to force it. What are you talking about? I, I don't understand. He has to force it? Maybe there's something I don't know. There's something I don't know. There's something I don't know. I well, damn, Dillian White uh should act as mandatory now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Usyk is the mandatory for the WBO. He was. He was the mandatory. The WBO, you you have to talk to the sanctioning body, not the fighter. Uh, this is my first super chat, King. You deserve it, my man. Thank you so much. Are they fighting already? No, not yet. Uh Porter has to demand it. Oh, I, I don't, I don't, I know he's the mandatory. <laughs> I know he's the mandatory and he said he wants Terrence Crawford and he's trying to fight him. And they offered him a low ball number and uh, he wants it to go to purse bid. I, 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 I really don't know. I, I don't know. You know more than I do, Doc. You know more than I do. I, I didn't think it went like that, but.
um, Wilder versus a prime Klitschko, brother. Uh, what it do, Biz? What's going on with you? Bob don't want it. Want that fight? Yeah, a lot. Uh, there's. I think there's a lot going on outside of Sean Porter. I, I don't think this is Sean Porter. There's a lot going on outside of him. Yeah, Sean Porter is on the ESBC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do you think Lennox was the best heavyweight after Ali? Not not by a mile. Not by a mile. No, he's far from the – he may not be a top 10 heavyweight. You know what I mean? I, I can name – there's I've, – I've named 10 very often, and I didn't have um, Lennox in there. You know, you could put him in there. I, I, I have no problem with – you know, if, if somebody got Lennox in their top 10, fine. Top five, I'm tripping. Um, if you're going to put Lennox in your top 10, he'll be from eight down. Muhammad Ali is, the, is number one. OK, Joe Lewis is number two. Then you got to start talking about Jack Johnson. See, right right now, we're already at three. We haven't discussed Holy. Well, well, not even Jack Johnson, actually Foreman. So you're looking at you're looking at. You're looking at Ali. You're looking at um, Joe Lewis. You're looking at Foreman. Um, you're looking at Jack Johnson. You're looking at Jack Dempsey and Rocky Marciano and Larry Holmes. And Evander Holyfield. I mean, at that point, you're already. It's tough, bro. You do. I mean, you got Joe Frazier out there. Um, it's really tough, man. It's really tough. You got Mike Tyson. You got um. Man, it's 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 really a tough go. I think I'll, I'm already about at ten, right? And we haven't even gotten to you know Sonny Liston and them. It's it's tough. Yeah, Sonny Liston. It's it's, it's a tough deal. There's a lot of people who really like Lennox. They really like him, but it's, it's difficult, man. You got Foreman at number two. I got him at number three. I got Joe Lewis at two. Sometimes Joe Lewis can be one, but I got Muhammad Ali one, Joe Lewis two. I got Foreman at three, then Jack Johnson at four. At that point, you know, it's just it's just on and popping. It may, it may be Rocky Marciano at five or Jack Dempsey at five. It's on, bro. It's really on up there in the heavyweight division. Uh, Porter was offered the same guaranteed amount. He got to fight Spence. Uh, two milli uh, wasn't a low ball offer. Hit the Tyson Bell. Um, um, so I'm not sure how true that is. OK, I'm not sure how true that is with with uh, the sponsor agreements and everything else, especially um, with uh, Showtime Sean Porter being a WBC champion at the time. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. Let, let's look it up. Uh, let me see. Uh, what would my man say? Uh, Mark Johnson versus Parnell. Uh, who was sharper? Uh, Sweet Pea, a new member. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, damn, Biz, I'm 37, so what you're telling me is everyone in my era besides Tyson uh, was, would not be considered a top 15. Everyone in my era besides Tyson would not be considered. I said Holyfield. Yeah, I said Holyfield, man. I put I put Holyfield in my top 10. Um, Holyfield and Tyson in my, in my top 10. I think Tyson was... I think Tyson was greater than Lennox Lewis. But that I personally think Tyson was greater than Lennox Lewis. Um, let's see. Let's see. How much did uh, Porter get for Spence? Uh, Hold me like a river, Jordan. (laughs) 
so Porter, so Spence, um, worth for the fight was exceeding four million, and Porter was exceeding three million. But I think that's that's after the base. So they got three hundred and sixty thousand pay per view buys. They both got. Oh, here here's the base purse. This is what my man's saying. The base purse was two million each. That's what he was saying. And and so Terrence Crawford offered Sean Porter. Hold on. One million. He was offered one million for Terrence Crawford. Was he ever offered two million? He got two million against Formella. So Sean Porter is a two million based fighter. Okay. So Terrence Crawford offered him one million. Hold on, real quick. Oh, a low ball, one million offer, one million. I'm only seeing one million, so he needs to be offered two million. Hmm. Uh, let me see what else we got. Yeah, Biz. So he offered, he offered two million. When did he offer two million? Maybe he did offer two million. I'm just not seeing it. I I'm only seeing a, a purse offered of one million. Let me see. Let me see. In February, Showtime Sean Porter rejected a $2 million offer to challenge for the Terrence Crawford belt. Why did he do that? Oh, man. We got to We got to We got to We got to Why? Did I know this? Maybe I knew this. Maybe I reported on it in a live stream and just forgot. I, I lost track of Sean Porter versus Terrence Crawford because the more I think about it, I think I did know it was $2 million. And I think my argument at the time was he had to pay sanctioning fees. He had to pay this and this, and he was going to end up short. But he's only he's been fighting for two million. He fought for two million against Formella and two million against Errol Spence. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I know what it is. I know what it is. Hold on. I think the difference is that both Spence and Porter got two million guaranteed. Not Porter. Uh no 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 get one million and Crawford taking 75 25. No, I know what it is. Lennox, I know what it is. I know what it is. Lennox beat both an old ass Tyson and an old ass Holyfield. Uh I get that both Tyson and Holyfield are bigger icons, but boxers. Also, Larry Holmes is top 10. Yeah, Larry Holmes beat an old ass Ali too. All right, so look, uh finish Tyson that was on Booger Sugar and done. Um, and uh Holyfield that was completely done. Uh, so yeah, yeah. If if you if you want to use that for your argument, go right ahead. He also lost against uh McCall, got knocked out against McCall and Rockman. All right. Uh, so look, look. But those those fights were avenged. But to get knocked out, I don't I don't think Tyson would ever get knocked out. He got dropped by McCall on Booger Sugar, uh, in sparring though, uh, when he was uh preparing for Buster Douglas. But I think in a fight, Rockman would have never knocked out Tyson. I don't care give it in um but anywho i know why the two million is a low ball offer or why he rejected it because terrence crawford versus showtime sean porter wouldn't be a pay-per-view fight okay so what it is is when spence fought porter and they both got the two million base they also got the incentives they also got the extra money for the sales that's why porter ended up with an extra million 
and so did and and Errol Spence ended up with an extra two million. So Errol Spence got four million for that fight at the end of the day, and Porter got three million. But there's a chance that Terrence Crawford versus Showtime Sean Porter wouldn't be pay per view. I think that's what it is. No. Yeah, he doesn't get the pay per view split. Yeah, Lady Chan, that's why that's what he's tripping on. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get what's going on. I get what's going on. Um, the, the fight against Formella wasn't for, it was for an interim title. He wasn't holding the title, so he didn't have to pay the, uh, the sanctioning fees. So when he got the $2 million for fighting Formella, he brought that to the crib. Okay, I see what's going on. So he's talking about the money he has in pocket. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I, I think they should for, force a, a, a purse bid. I think they, they should for, force a, a purse bid. Ortiz versus Hooker is giving me T.O. versus Comey vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but Maurice Hooker's defense is better than Comey's. Comey defense is like, whatever, bro. When he throws his punches, he leaves his head wide open, okay? Um, but vibes, yeah. It won't go exactly like that, but the vibes. Look, Ortiz versus Estrada. We gotta check this out. That that was that was. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Everybody hit the like button. Biz, did you hear what Crawford team told Sean? I had a victim mandatory, or stop talking. I had a. No, I didn't hear anything like that. I don't know what that means. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got Estrada by knockout second round. Yeah, but one of my show business partners is France with Ortiz. So um, we, we got we got to see what's up. Man, dude. Man, dog. Ortiz is 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 at a good def- distance, but Estrada is, is, is looking great. Ortiz is at, oh, my God. Good right to the body from uh, Estrada. Estrada is throwing some winging good shots. Ortiz is being extremely busy. I mean, uh, patient. I said busy. And that and that hook from Ortiz was very slow. Good body shot from Estrada. Good body, yeah. Estrada's gonna mess around, knock her out with a body shot. So Estrada, oh, Estrada defense is looking, and she switched to Southpaw. Her defense is looking phenomenal, phenomenal. Oh, good combination from Estrada. Good left hook. She switched to uh, Orthodox and threw a left hook. God, her shoulder roll is overly done and not that great, but it looks fantastic. <laughs> it's like it's like she is is so amplified her shoulder roll, bro. But it's it's not bad. All right. It's, it 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 looks. I mean, it looks like uh, what's my man name? Afro Thunder or whatever. What's the name of 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 that uh that video game? Rumble. What was it called? And my man name was that I forgot it. I forgot the name. But he she's moving like that. 30 seconds left in the first round. Good body shot from Ortiz. Oh God. They just they they oh my goodness. They just swinging at each other, boy. The, the two minutes go fast, though. I tell you that. Those two minutes go fast, boy. You think, hey, man, two minutes is just oh, did I see a mouthpiece fly out? I saw a real nice jab. It's some oh, good body shot. Man, or hey, Estrada can really swat, dude. She can really swat. Or if if not, she she put some she put some funk on her shots though. Good right hand, followed by the left from Ortiz. Good combination. Oh, rabbit punch from Ortiz. Ready to rumble. That's right. Ready to rumble. Uh, what was his name? Afro Thunder. You got a strata by a knockout in a second. Um, what if they get hit on the boob? Afro Thunder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Crawford will be first to knock out Porter. I don't see it, but if so, that's beautiful. I, I think that fight is a must. Everybody hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, Cleaver. 
was in that game as well. Big shout out, big bro. Shout out to you, Omar Ali. All right, here we go. Uh, Estrada in the South Paul is just funny. You know, this whole switch hitter thing is I'm seeing this more and more. We just saw that with no chin right earlier today. Oh, good. Oh, she hurt uh, Ortiz. Ortiz. Oh, somebody said that Estrada was going to knock her out in the second. Oh, and it looks like dog Estrada. Estrada's. Oh, my goodness. She got her hand behind her back. I, I don't. I really. She. This is Afro Thunder. She's Afro Thunder all day long. She's too dope. Her sweat. Oh, good body. Ah, brother. Oh, good left hook from Estrada. Oh, 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 oh. Ortiz caught her. Ortiz caught her. Dog, look at Ortiz's face, bro. Ortiz, the funniest person I've ever seen in my life, bro. She, she, she's, she's hilarious, bro. I, I, I can't. Uh, <laughs> dog, look at that punch that Ortiz threw. That was. Get her, Ortiz. Get her. Got her against the ropes. Get her, Ortiz. Get her. Get her. Go get her, girl. Go get her. Ah! Ah! Dog, Estrada, swim without getting wet. Estrada feels like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at her. She's like, look, that is, she is Afro Thunder, bro, all day. Look how she moves, how she, how, how she, she just really uh, flamboyant, how she switched her. Oh, God! That right st overhand, st that right straight from Estrada was genius. She dropped Ortiz, bro. Oh my goodness, is Ortiz okay? Is she all right? <gasps> Dog, Estrada is coming in, going in for the kill. Oh, good body shots. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Ortiz is from the hood. You can tell Ortiz. Ortiz will throw will throw something funky on you, boy. You gonna have to you gonna have to hit her with a bat. Oh. Ortiz swinging at her. She's swinging at her. She, oh, holding and hitting and everything. That's the end of the round? My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. That's fantastic. Hold on. I'm getting some business. I'm getting some business late at night now. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing, nothing that I thought was. Hold on real quick. Uh, I get a lot of stuff. Getting a lot of stuff here. Oh. Uh. Oh, nothing, nothing I can share with you guys. 79.9 subs now. Only 100 left. Yeah, Young King. How many people in here? 842 people. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 80,000. Be part of the 100 that gets me to 80,000. There's 800 people in here right now. I'm not sure if all of you guys are subscribed. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button now. That was a good straight right hand. Uh... Uh, from Estrada, though, my goodness, my goodness, let's go to 80,000 and beyond. Let's get to 100,000 by the time we get to Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Because once we start giving away that AJ uh glove, uh, sponsored by BUSR.com, and when I when I get that glove, I'm gonna just display it, I'm gonna display it, and that glove gonna be here until I give it away, okay? And that'll be uh somewhere around the Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury fight. Good uh, combination from Estrada. Oh, good body shots from Estrada. Overhand right from Ortiz. One minute, 15 seconds. Good right to the body from Estrada. Good combination by, by Estrada. Going to Southpaw. Right hand missed by... Good jab by Estrada. Oh, oh, dude, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ortiz is getting a little sloppy with the shots, but the ref, the ref, the ref. Good right to the body from Estrada. Man, you got to like, you got to Oh, oh, you got to love Estrada, though. You got, you got to love Estrada. Look, 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 look how she swim without getting wet. Look how she swim while she rolls and how she lose her, use her feet and slide here and go there. Look, shooting a jab from the hip. She shot her jab from the hip. Put put the earmuffs back on. Bam! Right hand almost landed again. Or Ortiz just. Uh-huh. Dude, the cape socks are hilarious. Oh, oh, good right hand. Oh, 
holding and hitting from both of them. Dude, Ortiz is gangster, bro. I, I've been feeling, you no, know, I've been feeling the people losing nowadays. <laughs> like, hit the Tyson Bell. I, I've been feeling the Warriors today. The Warriors out there just getting slayed. Adam Deans, I was feeling him today. Oh, good right to the body. Doberman, I felt him today. Uh, Ortiz, I'm feeling her. Man, I've been feeling, I've been feeling uh, uh, Triple A. I was feeling him earlier against No Chin. Hold on. My dog is barking and my son can hear it all day, but don't have the wherewithal to be. Hold up real quick. Hey, do me a favor. When you hear the dogs barking like uncontrollably, bring them in the house. What? So who who got the dogs outside? You took them out when you left and then kept them outside? Is is there anybody in the house? Jesus. Now they stuck outside until I'm all right. All right. All right, here, all right, here we go. Round four, one minute, 40 seconds left. Good combination from Estrada. Good right hand from Ortiz. Jab to the body from Ortiz. Oh, they both landed right hands on each other. Oh, good body shot from Estrada. Got her against the ropes and digging. Oh, she's snapping some shots on her. And, and Ortiz hung in there. She hung in there. Look, she got a whole deck of cards on her on her trunks. She got a whole deck of cards. Oh, look at that. All 52 cards on her trunks. Uh, well, at least the, uh, the face cards. Look, look, look how Estrada uh, uh, switching the southpaw, switching back to orthodox, doing it very smooth. Look at her shoulder movement. Her, her Afro Thunder, man. I, she's smothering her own shots, though. That's the... Oh, good body shot from Estrada. Oh, good. Oh, good right hand from Estrada. Oh, Ortiz is swinging in there, though. She's swinging in exchange. Good right hand from Ortiz. Hey, she ain't going out. She ain't going out. Oh, silently. Good overhand right from Ortiz. She ain't going out silent. Like a silent fart. She's going out loud. <laughs> Switch to southpaw. <laughs> good straight left from, from Estrada. Good body shot. Oh, Ortiz landed right from on Estrada. I'm going to have to run upstairs and, and take bring this dog in because this dog is barking uncontrollably. Good jabs from Ortiz. Good combination from both. That, that's the end of the round. Man, this is fire. This is fire. Did I miss anything? What I miss? What I miss? What I miss? One minute, 25 seconds in the fifth round. Good body shot from Estrada. Good overhand right from Estrada. 
I, did I miss something? Oh, goodbye. She's snapping. She's snapping her shots, man. Dude, she's throwing them punches like showbiz, bro. She's throwing her hooks like showbiz, bro. She, fire, fire, fire. Yo, everything you got. Yo, I'm trying to punch through your, your body, bro. I'm trying to have it go through your back. Bam. Boom. I love it. Stroud is shooting some good jack. Her, her, what? She's only shooting. What happened to her left? Her. Oh, she hit her left. That was some Devin Haney type stuff right there. Good right hand from uh, Estrada. A good combination from Estrada. She. 38 seconds left. You see, what they're doing is they're smothering their own shots. If one of them could take one step back, it, it would really behoove them to, I mean, just 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 give yourself some room to land a good shot. That's why she dropped it with that right hand. They're, they're not, the, the timing, and the, there you go, left hook, right hand from, Est see, and here come, oh, right, nice. See, Estrada just throw her punches better. She just throws them better. Because even if Ortiz lands on Estrada, she doesn't land effectively. It's like, she lands, but with arm shots, that's not going to knock out Estrada. It's not going to knock her out. She's not using her knuckles. She's swinging, but she's not turning the punches over. You know what I'm saying? Y'all roasting in this moment? Um, that not crazy. Yeah, that, that's one of those real, real hard knots. There go Bomac right there with Maurice Hooker. Hey man, this this fight is 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 really tough. God, God, this this fight is tough, man. You got you got Robert Garcia, Bo Mac. This is this is tough. This is tough. UFC tonight, biz. And I'm watching Maurice Hooker versus uh Virgil Ortiz card. Uh, Ortiz is slow. Uh. Wait, wait, look, 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 ring girl, ring girl. See, she looking at, looking at, looking at showbiz, the adult. That's all right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, one minute, 50 seconds left in the sixth round. Uh, Estrada uh, shooting a jam. Flick, whack, good right to the body from Estrada. Flicking the jam. Bam, right, bam. See, she giving herself, she doing better feet. Estrada is. Oh, there's a, there was a, a glob of spit that came out of Ortiz's mouth that almost made me throw up. Okay. It just got me weak in the stomach. I was just weak in the stomach. All right, look, 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 look. Estrada is getting jabbed in her hairline. I mean, not Estrada, but Ortiz getting jabbed in her hairline. Dude, I, it's, some, it's something. We, oh, Ortiz caught her with a right hand. Coming in wild. Coming in wild. Good right. Oh, good, oh, good right hand again. Dude, yeah, that, that knot. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, bro. Dude, that knot there. That that brother, oh, she looks like the toxic avenger, dog. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even going, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Good right hand from Ortiz. I can't even lie to you, bro. That 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 knot right there is is just it's just mm, it's really good right hand. She looks like a uh uh, uh almond joy. Just just the uh, <laughs> you know how you get two almond joys, like two of the nuggets. Her, she looks like just what up with that one with that one almond <laughs> that, that's always kind of crooked. <laughs> that's she looks like an almond joy. Uh TV reflection uh in your adult neon. Uh, I don't I don't see it. Oh barely. Barely, but uh female fights need to be three minutes. Uh, well that that's a scientific thing, man. We'll we'll see what that's about. We'll see what that's about. Um, <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, her she looks like an almond joy, dog. Oh, good jab from oh lord, hey, brother, that knot right there. Oh my god, to be or not to be. <laughs> hey, brother, <laughs> brother, actually, <laughs> dude, her head looks delicious. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever seen dog? No, that that looks delicious, dog. <laughs> dude, that knot there. He he's pushing on it. Trying to have it spread. He trying to he trying to have it spread throughout evenly throughout the forehead. I got her head looking like some trail mix, dog. <laughs> got my baby girl head looking like some trail mix, dog. 
ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, they put a little ice on it, dog. <laughs> I, I don't know what that. It, it doesn't need. It doesn't need cold or warm. <laughs> See, her her braids were too tight anyway. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> dude, that dude, that that head looked like. Uh, oh my god. And, and what do y'all call them? Uh, the the little treats. Uh, <laughs> her head looked like a treat, Joe. What do you call that? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, oops, good combination from Estrada. Uh, Ortiz's arm got caught in the ropes like Larry Holmes against Tyson. Oh, good right. Oh, she had to dance it off. When you get caught with a right and you're and you're bouncing, you you trying to dance it off, dude. Her head looks like a um, um, God, what is that called? It's like it's it's brown. It's like caramel. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? There's like a maybe a little nut in there or two. What you call what you call them up uh, them, them little your dicks? Uh they're hard, they're hard to the mug, bro. They mess around, make your stomach hurt after a while because they're so sweet. Not a cashew nut. It, well, yeah, definitely a cashew nut. But it's like a it's like a uh it got a granola type of like um not a payday. Golly. Uh not Peanut brittle. <laughs> her, brittle. Her hand looks like a peanut. Yeah, a turtle too. A little a peanut brittle. A, 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 a twaddle. <laughs> you know what? Let's stop. Let's stop. To, to diagnose, you know, <laughs> to see what candy her hand looks like is, is, really, is really mean. You know, for somebody who's supposed to be for combat sports, <laughs> to... To try to find, to think of what what delicious uh, treat her hair looks like is good right hand <laughs> from Estrada <laughs> is is really out of line, <laughs> is really out of the pocket, bro. Oh, good, good right hand. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ortiz gave her a jab after all that, you know, shenanigans. That must her hair looks like a Rolo, bro. Yeah, we we got <laughs> we got to stop that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna repeat what y'all saying, bro. <laughs> we gotta stop all of that. Oh, uh, that man said look like a sugar baby, dog. <laughs> not a sugar daddy, dog, a sugar baby, dog. Oh my god. Um and where black son at? He at the crib. Uh, he actually uh is recording or something like it's it's putting together a uh uh an episode for his channel. He's he's putting that together. <laughs> Avocado weight form. Uh Ortiz head is gonna explode soon. Man, they they that's that's gonna be a fight that I, I have. We'll see. We'll see. Good dude, her brother Dar Estrada got her face lumped up. I, I'm I'm gonna tell you. It's, and she's hiding. She's hiding every punch she got. It's a decent tactic. Yeah. Oh, they gave Ortiz that last round. Yeah, she probably deserved it because that was her best round. Good, oh, God. Good combination from Estrada. Good right hand. Oh, God. The hooks from Estrada. It's, it's, very diff, it's very hard for me to give Ortiz rounds because the punches that she lands are very ineffective. They're arm punches. She ain't turning her hips into any punches. She she's not doing any of that. You know, her elbows aren't look, look, their arm punches is not gonna work. While Estrada punches, she's turning into them and she's turning her punches over. So that's why her head's lumped up like that. Them knuckles, those are knuckles. She's turning them back. I mean, that's a different thing. She turned her hip, bam. You know, punches, you punch with your body and your legs. It comes all the way up. It's not you punching with your arms. It you oh. It, it takes a while to get that down. If if you don't look at people hit the punching bag, it, it takes a while. Your normal person doesn't know how to even generate power from their body into their punches. What it takes and 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 to coordinate that, you know. And sometimes you lose that form when you're in the heat of a fight. Oh, good right, good lefts uh, from Estrada. You know, you end up throwing arm punches. And those just, it's just not effective. Her legs aren't under the punches. She's not turning her hips into the punches. Now look at her, bro. She got so many egg-shaped forms, bro. 
So much egg, so many egg shaped forms. I mean, my goodness. I, I, you got to you. I, I don't know, man. You got to check Estrada's gloves, I guess, because there's so many egg shaped forms, bro. Oh, God, good right hand from Estrada. If you never seen a fight before, look at Terrence Crawford. God, he's huge. Terrence Crawford is huge. He's like my size, man. Mighty Mo Hooker. He's with his squad. Oh, <laughs> there go Simplify. <laughs> Jamal Herring <laughs> is sitting over there. Jamel Herring sitting over there. They got the whole squad. They got Maurice Hooker. They got Herring, Terrence Crawford. They all sitting right there. With Bo Mack, <laughs> bruh, bruh, the the I, I I heard the sparring sessions between Crawford and Herring is amazing. <laughs> you guys remember when I interviewed Herring and he was just letting the he was just spilling the beans. Actually, that interview was noted from a lot of articles. There was a lot of people who uh, looked at that interview and was like, "Hey, you know, on Showbiz, the adult Herring was there." Like this whole thing. Um, that's why that thing got so many views. I think got like 25,000 views, something like that. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. I heard, I heard Herring and Crawford sparring sessions are tremendous. Uh, one minute, 44 seconds left in the ninth round. More of the same. Estrada is just landing body shots. Never forgot the body. Oh, double jab. For, oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Good combination from Estrada. Oh, my goodness. Is Estrada cut? Oh no, that's hair in her eye. Oh, good right hand from Estrada. Oh my goodness. Oh, they 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 mushed that knot though. That knot spread through the forehead pretty good, bruh. I all all I all I gotta say about Ortiz is she was built for this. She was built for this. For unity, my man. She was built for this, bro. I I I can't I can't lie to you because her head, her face is warped. Her face is warped. Oh, my goodness. That is not the same person that started the fight. It is totally not. Good jab from Estrada. I mean, 45 seconds left in the ninth round. Good body shot from Estrada. Out to southpaw. Went back to orthodox. Throwing combinations. Ending with, with an uppercut. Man, dude. Overhand right. Not effective from Ortiz. Oh, jeez. The left hook from Estrada just landed on the cheekbone of Ortiz. Real nice. Ortiz sticking with the jab. She's sticking with the brother, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm, a, oh, oh, no. I, I think Ortiz it doesn't feel her face anymore. I think she just taking punches to the grill and she just on automatic because the, bruh, <laughs> the combinations that Estrada is landing on her is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I, I, hey, look, everybody, let's give love to the Warriors tonight. All the ones that took their L's right on the face. <laughs> uh, like I said, the Dobermans, you know, of the world last fight, the Adam Deans against Better BF, that fight last in 10 rounds. Uh uh, the likes of uh what's my man named Triple A, uh, who fought uh Sul Suligan, uh Suligan, Sulig Suligan 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 him no chance so yeah i mean the, the warriors okay man hair looked like a star crunch you ain't lying bro that dude her hair looks like a star crunch i told you it looks like one single almond joy that that oh my goodness yeah no it's it's oh my god oh my god ortiz is is, is she's 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 made for this she is made for this bro I got to tell you, I'm not sure how much she getting paid, but it's not enough. Good. Oh, good left hook. I'm not sure how much she getting paid, but it's not enough. I mean, we're sitting here in the showbiz adult community getting that paper, right? We sitting here just enjoying ourselves, you know, watching the fight, you know, sending super chats, growing the community. And we haven't take, we didn't take one punch in the grill. I mean, people smoking, drinking right now, listening, laughing. I have my black two sugars chilling. And she's out there looking like a flat-out payday, okay? 
and she is she does and she's not getting a big enough payday for her for for her for to 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 look like a payday you're gonna have to give me a big payday bro like you can't come on come on payday for payday you you can't do that you can't do that you can't do that bro you can't oh good left from Ortiz oh good combination from Estrada oh my goodness good combination from Estrada oh dude uh uh Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I I would just be looking forward to the summer, bro. Like the summer's coming. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, get back on my get back on my grizzly. You know what I mean? Wear some nice shorts. Well, what what do women wear? You know what I mean? Put on a nice little fit, get some heels on, wait for it. Let my let my 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 almond joy. <laughs> let that let that heal and put my makeup on. You know, go back, go back out in style, baby. Go back out. Oh, oh, left hook, right hand from Estrada. Estrada trying to knock her out the last 10 seconds. They stopped the fight. The ref stopped the fight <laughs> and then kept it going. Dog. <laughs> right when it was looking bad. And that was over. Boy, that ref really blew it. <laughs> Bitch, you funny as hell. I'm just saying, dog. Bet you five thousand on Bud defeat Spence. Any takers? That fight ain't even signed, or that's a waste of time, bro. By the time that fight is signed, we may be totally different lives by then. Okay, by the time that fight is signed, you know you probably will be out of a job. Like, hey man, hey, remember that five thousand dollar bet, brother? I ain't got a job. <laughs> five thousand dollar bet, <laughs> brother? Please. <laughs> You know what I mean? Corona two just hit. Like we ain't we ain't, we ain't got time for all that, bro. <laughs> um, busr. Yeah, go to busr.com dot forward slash showbiz place spelling your favorite. Yeah, any takers? Go to busr.com. Yeah, you can take on busr.com. Go to busr.com forward slash showbiz. Place five thousand dollar bet there. You don't have to say any takers here. You can place a bet and get your winnings right to you, right to your bank account. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, my man said MBA, MSME, MSNE doctorate. I am a job, bro. It was a joke. It was a joke. I didn't, I didn't want to, you know, make, you know. I didn't want to get you, you know, get you going. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my God, boy, you have the 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 smoke smoony. I I don't know. A face full of egg shaped forms. Yeah, her face is full of egg shaped forms. Her face is full of egg shaped forms, bro. That right there. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Oh. Uh, what was your other job? You talking to me? Uh, Biz, do you think uh, Tyson Fury and AJ will be in the esports boxing game? Eventually, yeah, I do. I think once you see, once they see the success of the game and stuff like that, and and yeah, 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 yeah I think they'll be DLCs. Yeah, I do. Uh, Spinal. Uh, what was your other? Are you talking to me with that? What, what was your other job? Did you ask me that? Uh, everybody, there's 867 people in here. Everybody hit the like button. There should be 600, 700 likes. If everybody hit the like button, man, we should have way more likes than this because Maurice Hooker versus Virgil Ortiz is next. Hit the Tyson Bell. Also, if you haven't subscribed, Estrada One, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. We are, we are just moments away from 80,000 subs. We get to 80,000 subs. We're that much closer to 100,000. But 80,000 gets more people coming, more community, more war room, more back and forth, more funny moments, more uh, fantasy fights, all those things. Because we're building this community to be a combat sports community where everybody can just talk fights, be unbiased, talk how they feel, right? but especially be unbiased on a platform 
where I give you guys the real with no agenda at all because it doesn't matter to me who wins, who lose. I'm not a part of any team. I'm not a part of anything. Okay, but what I do want is for boxing to be the most popular, biggest sport in the world. All right. So I'm doing my best. And if, if you're new to this channel, this is what you're going to get from me. I'm doing my absolute best to make sure that people are educated when it comes to boxing and have fun again when it comes to boxing. And all these boxers fight each other and forget about the O. All right, so we're doing our best to push that. That's the agenda that we're pushing. And we have so much We have so much fun here. Just look at the war room. We're having a great time. Already close to 80,000 subs. We're doing our thing. Fastest growing uh, YouTube boxing community in the world. Hit the Tyson Vale. Um, look at the likes now, Biz. There you go. Right there. Right up to 659, just like that. Hit the Tyson Vale. Right up, that it's gonna be at seven hundred. Look, you hit the everybody hit the like button. It's gonna go right up to seven hundred. We're blowing that. We're gonna blow the hell up, bro. We're gonna blow up. Everybody's gonna love each other. Everybody's gonna support each other, and we're going to love the sport of boxing. I'm a. If you're a Canelo fan, if you're a Wilder fan, if you're an AJ fan, it doesn't matter. You can talk your stuff up in the war room. We can go at it. We can debate. And what I'm going to do is speak unbiasedly because I definitely could do that. I love the sport. I love boxing more than I love boxer. So it's it's just it's it's easy for me to do. Uh hard knock uh hard knocks fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard knocks fell off. Um momentarily it fell off. Um shut up. Uh you just want money. Well, we all want money. I, <laughs> I mean, you want to tell people to shut up. What you don't want people a closed mouth don't get fed. Yeah, we all want money. You want money. I hope you want money. Money is how you survive. I hope you want money. But on top of that, on top of wanting money, <laughs> I do. I, I got a sponsor. So I want money too, of course. I would love to get paid for doing what I love. I think that's the whole point of being an entrepreneur. But at the same time, I'm I came into the game wanting boxing to be bigger than NFL, right? So I, I want that too. And not only do I want boxing to grow and want money. But at the same time, I want to leave a stamp on the boxing game, on the combat sports game, the way Tony, uh, uh, the way uh, Teddy Atlas did, the way Burt Sugar did, the way Emmanuel Stewart did, the way Howard Cosell did, uh, the way Max Kellerman is doing. I, I want to leave a stamp to say, hey, man, showbiz the adult. You know, he did so some great things for boxing. I want to I, I, I passionately want that if I can leave a mark as well and this community at the same time like yo that community started off small and it became a thing and kind of changed the mindset of the boxing fan so yeah 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 absolutely I, I think we all I think we all we all want money yeah and and I've been able with the help of this community uh I've been able to quit my job and do this full time and really dedicate my time to it and the day I quit my job I made a video and I asked you guys to have my back. All of my subscribers, people who are subscribed to me now, hey, I said I'm about to quit my job. If you guys remember on my video, I'm about to quit my job right now. I called my manager. I, I made a video while my man me and my manager was about to have a meeting. I said I'm about to quit my job. If you guys have my back, okay, if you could have my back and look what happened. That was back when I had 30,000 subscribers. That was – I had, that was, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I had like 40,000 subscribers. That was only September. Now I'm about to be at 80,000 subscribers because y'all have my back. Hit the Tyson Bell. I asked y'all to have my back and y'all did it immediately. And I've been able to hold down my household and everything. My daughter's in college. My son, he's in, uh, my middle son, he's in private school. My youngest son, he's about to, you know, go into uh, school and go into jujitsu with me. I've been able to do all those things because y'all have my back. I, I, you know, that's why I try to give so much. Well, BUSR is sponsoring, but give so much back to you guys as far as uh, memorabilia and stuff that's worth a lot of money, thousands of dollars and stuff like that. Uh, because you guys, I, I can't thank you guys enough. So uh, hit the Tyson Bell. Hooker versus Ortiz is next. Oh, wait, I missed the super chat. I missed the super chat. <laughs> Hey, I knew who it was. <laughs> I knew who it was, bro. <laughs> Daryl, 
keep chasing greatness. <laughs> hey, Daryl Alexander. I love you, boy. <laughs> You're the man. Daryl Alexander. Uh, Biz Biz in the house, everybody. About to drop off some food. And I come around this way. Because the camera's sitting right here, so it points this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. I'm about to muck, muck bang live. Thank you so much. Uh, Daryl Alexander, I love you, boy. <laughs> what you do, dog? Like, Derek, Derek, Daryl Alexander has been. He he's been looking at Jay. Like, where are you? I I love you so much, Daryl. <laughs> you the man, man. Always turning uh the super chats pink and red and stuff like that. You don't, bro. Uh, thank you for what you do for boxing, JJ. Jay. Uh. That video inspired me to get on my spears, DP. Much love to you. Thank you so much. A lot of people said it was an inspiration. Uh, that's not even what I was trying to do. And it, it, if it inspired you guys, that was that's fantastic, man. Because really, really, if it if there's anything positive coming from this, and you can be positive yourself, and then you can be an inspiration to somebody else, man, dude, we could turn. Hey, that 2020, we survived 2020 up off it. From here on out, it could just be nothing but positive things. Everybody having each other's back, right? You affecting others that affect you back. Man, dude, this, this, we about to do some things. We about to do some things, right? Some things that boxers can trust, promoters can trust, sanctioning bodies can trust, right? We can be strong enough to have people take on challenges, have a bunch of L's, be Derek Chisora, and Derek Chisora be one of our heroes, right? We can do some great things. Um, do you think Breland should start his own water company uh, like bottled water? How amazing would that be? <laughs> Hold on. Egg shape form. Right here. Mm -mm. What? Ten dollars for the community. Thank you so much for the super chat. Somebody said Lady Chan sounds dumb. Lady Chan is dope, bro. Lady Chan is dope. But y'all, y'all, y'all doing what y'all do. I don't know what she said. I don't know what she could have said. Oh my goodness. I don't have a spoon, see. Oh, this is hot. This is really hot. This is really hot. I can tell. Yeah, this is hot right here. This is this is this is fresh off the you dig. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me exfoliate this real quick. Let me see how this works. Gotta blow it. Mm. Mm. Nah, there's so much splashy. Ortiz about about to fight. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We mukbang on the channel. All that good stuff. Biz, I finally made a bet on BUSR. <laughs> what, who, what did you bet? Brother, what did you bet? Hit the Tyson bell. <laughs> what did you bet on BUSR.com? <laughs> who, who you bet on? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm, this is... I told them I was trying to lose weight, too. Uh, mm, mm. I got some chicken pasta. Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken, I think. Uh, timed out again. Who timed out? Did you see who esports announced? Yeah, I did. Much love, Biz. I came in when you were around 15, 20,000. Wow. Keep up the great work, bro. Much love to you. Hey, uh, Maurice Hooker got a sucker in his mouth. It's the funniest thing ever. But I get it, though. Get that saliva going. Well, I get it. Is that energy? Is that suck? Is that, is that like an energy sucker? Either way, he got, he got a sucker in his mouth. Is he the B-side? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the B-side. He doesn't care. Maurice Hooker doesn't care. He, he's a gladiator. He's ready to fight. He, he can care less. Maurice Hooker can care less. Hey, 
Hey, man. Ortiz is in great shape. Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be a tough fight. This is going to be a tough fight. I feel different. I understand the vibes of Richard Comey, Teofimo Lopez. I'm not totally getting those vibes, but I understand them. With Teofimo Lopez versus Bridget Comey, I was just waiting for the knockout. I said, this knockout was going to be soon. I called it, all that. This here? Man, my researcher can mess around and win this, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. Boy, this is fire. Uh, current welterweight champions, Terrence Crawford, Errol the True Spence, Jordana Tugas. Dog, look at Terrence Crawford, bro. My goodness. What I got on what? What I got? I just lost money on Better BF. I had Better BF winning by knockout before the fifth round. That dude took him to 10. I ain't bet on this fight. I already lost money today. <laughs> I already lost money today. I did not bet on this fight. Hey, Terrence Crawford talking. Can y'all tell me what he's talking about, please? I got the volume down. What is, what is Terrence Crawford saying? I know they're going to ask about Errol Spence, and he's probably like, man, I, ain't, I don't want to talk about Errol. That dude's about done talking about Errol, bro. But he's on the platform. Locals say I'm about to order some grub for this fight. Uh, Crawford, yeah, that's the man. Talking about Hooker training hard. Oh, okay. Uh, Biz, I told the two haters uh, on the chat to go away. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, but they don't have to go, Lady Chan. Let them stay. Let them stay, bro. Let, let, the, let the losers stay. It doesn't, it, it, listen, Lady Chan, it doesn't matter. Let the haters stay. Because they're going to get tired. They're going to keep typing and getting tired. And they, like, okay, check this out. You know when you suck. They know they suck. They know that what they the spirit that's making them type these hating words, that's bad spirit. They're negative. There's, there some, what's going on in their life suck. So it's coming out and they're trying to project it. And it's just it's just showing what they're about. And they it doesn't feel good to them. So don't let it affect you, Lady Chan. Just know that they're they are really in a bad spot. That's why. And they just they just displaying that they're in a bad spot. So it's like, yeah, they I, I they're miserable. I would hate to be them. So why respond to them? Facts, yeah. It's obvious. They just keep showing that they they're miserable. It's like, man, bro. You know, I'm sorry, but hey, man, check out, check out the fight. Let's watch the fights. Um, ah, uh, Biz, get mad. No, oh my goodness. <laughs> the mother's trying so hard. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm just trying to calm down, Lady Chan. You know, like Lady Chan, don't. You know what I mean? Don't do it. Let, let, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a quick story, Lady Chan. Let me tell you a quick story. When I first started dating Ms. Biz, Ms. Biz is fine, okay? She's fine, bro. So I was holding Ms. Biz's hand, and we were walking down the street, all right? It was three dudes, and they looked at me, and I was walking by, and they were like, man, your girl fine. So I was just like, thanks. Say, yeah, man, I'm about to take your girl. I'm like, you but. Y'all about to take my girl. My girl grabbed my hand and was like, come on. And then I was just like, because I was just thinking to try to make me, to disrespect me in front of my woman like that. But then she said, babe, they're losers. Let's go. And I'm like, you're right. That's what they are. They're three hard legs by themselves with, you know, with no lady. So they, they just sitting there just like, show BS. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking by with a fine lady. Just like, <laughs> why would I get sucked up into that? But yeah, he 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 doesn't want, and that's what he said. And hey, he don't want none. Like, no, I don't. 
I don't, because I'm stepping into the club with my lady, y'all. <laughs> And I'm clean right now. Or no, no, I don't want with a pocket full of money. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to go to jail right now. <laughs> I'll go to jail whooping your ass. Like I don't, I don't feel like. That's what they are. Oh my goodness. My God. Rip Hagler. Rip Hagler, bro. Look, is, is that a moment of silence for Hagler? It is. That is so, Hagler being dead is just, it's so wrong. It's, it just doesn't, it's, it doesn't feel right, man. Crawford said no Spence fight, fight is history. I, I don't blame Terrence Crawford. I, I can't, I can't blame Terrence Crawford. Thanks for the super chat. I can't blame him. I can't. I'm not going to keep talking about this dude. I'm not. If I was Terrence, I'm not going to keep talking about him. Dude, they're they're doing something totally. Let me go ahead. I'm a, look, like I said, he needs to go fight Sean Porter. Go fight Sean Porter. If Virgil Ortiz gets past Hooker, fight Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was Terrence, I would I go up to 154. I ain't thinking about Errol. If I was Terrence, Terrence, right. If I was do I want to see Errol versus Terrence Crawford? Yeah, but I don't blame Terrence for being like, I'm not going to chase him when I was undisputed. I moved up to 147 thinking it's going to, to be fireworks and I'm going to prove my legacy and my greatness. And I come up here and, and I'm not getting any fights here. I would not blame Terrence Crawford whatsoever if Terrence Crawford said, man, I'm about to go to 154. I would not blame him. I, I fought, became WBO champion, got no smoke. I'm gone. I wasted time. I wouldn't blame Terrence Crawford at all. I wouldn't. Now, Errol Spence, um, Errol Spence want to become undisputed. Yeah, but he wants to do it his way. And I won't, there's no way I would do it his way unless, okay, 60-40, we can work. Because I understand that he's the A-side. But Terrence Crawford ain't feeling like that. If, man, if I was Terrence, I do not blame Terrence. I don't blame Errol Spence, and I don't blame Terrence. I really don't. Now, if I was Errol Spence, if I was Errol Spence, I'll fight Terrence Crawford while it's hot. I'll fight. I, I, it would be the next fight. It, dude. Dude, back in the dude, I don't want to keep talking about back in the day. But really, when Evander Holyfield was champ, can you imagine Evander Holyfield was trying to fight Mike Tyson before Douglas? Like, Evander Holyfield and Tyson almost got it in after du if, if he would have gotten past Douglas. That fight was pretty much signed and sealed, depending on what he does with Douglas. If Ty they, they were expected, Tyson was expected to knock out Douglas. So, can you imagine Holyfield would have, look, if this was the UFC or the days of Evander Holyfield and them, Errol Spence would have not only fought Terrence Crawford, they probably would have fought three times by now. I'm too, that's the Black Two Sugars. That's the Black Two Sugars. They would have fought way before the accident. If this was UFC, they would have fought way before the accident. This would have been Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence three. And that's the Black Two Sugars, bro. But with the politics of boxing now, so I don't blame Terrence Crawford. I really don't. I really don't. That's why uh, it's all EJ uh, fault, right? 
okay. I'm it, but Jay Cooley, <laughs> Jay Cooley is the biggest troll. I love Jay Jay Cooley, love you to death. But Jay Cooley, I'm not even calling Jay Cooley. I told you I'm a bit different. I don't care. I know the fight's not happening. So at this point, that's why you're talking to a guy that's like AJ versus Tyson Fury signed. Let's go. I am not big on a he should have. Him and Wilder is in the mediation. You got to wait for that to be over. Wait for, and everybody got to wait. I'm done waiting. And been at a standstill. I'm done. That's why everybody think I fanboy for Canelo. All because Canelo's fighting four times in a year. I am about fighting. If there's a fight to be made, I'm talking about that. That's where I'm at from here on out. Bro, I have, I have gotten worse. <laughs> Dude, I have gotten worse. Joe Park, uh, Joseph Parker versus Chisora. Let's go. I have gotten worse. I'm, I'm telling you. I am telling you. I don't give a damn. If some, if my man Adam Deans, who lost against uh Better BF, you fought Ronald Ellis. Fine. I mean, like, yo, I want to see Adam. De I don't. I, I want to see people who's fighting. I, I don't care if you're a big name. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> if you're fighting. Estrada, Roman Gonzalez, bet. Y'all fighting again? Cool. I'm only watching people who fight. I'm done, bro. That's why I got hyped up with Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios. He's moving up two weight class to fight Mario. There you go. I'm, dude, I am completely done. I'm completely done with Twitter fingers and everybody. Brother, I don't care if you're a name, not a name. I'm, dude, I'm just, that's what made the Fabulous Four so special. Yeah, Count Drago, absolutely. I don't, I'm not thinking about the politics and I'm not thinking about who's the biggest name anymore. That, well, I'm, I like AJ versus Tyson Fury because they're big names fighting each other, but those boys love to fight anyway. But man, you're going to be if, in this community. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now because in this community, bruh, if, if Joe Schmo is fighting Hobo, we're watching it. Hit the Tyson Bell because I'm just down to watch people fight. I'm <laughs> facts are in the bank. 100%. I'm done, bro. I've gotten worse. <laughs> Who's fighting next? Joe Smo and, and Bibli, 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 Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker. Let's go. Pavekin uh, uh, versus Dillian. Bibli. Let's go. I'm. Virgil Ortiz just hit the ring. I'm, I'm on that. I'm on that. <laughs> I'm done, dog. Hey, what happened with, with Errol Spence versus Terrence Crow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened, dog. <laughs> That's where I'm at now. Who is Terrence Crawford going to fight next? Fine. I'll watch that. Ugas versus Errol Spence. Let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's me now. Man, I want to see Virgil e. Enos. I, I want to see Virgil Ortiz versus Boost Enos. Man, I will, I will watch as long as Mug's scrapping. People are in the business of not scrapping. They're in the business of not fighting. Everything is Twitter wars now. So, mm-mm. Wow, the UFC got master, masterful cards every damn month. Come on, y'all. Come on, bro. I'm about done. I'm about done, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm into this. Maurice Sucker versus Virgil Ortiz. Let's go. <laughs> get to know everybody else because these big boys ain't fighting each other. So get to know everybody who's willing to scrap. Period. You punch if y'all punching each other in the face, I'm there. <laughs> uh Sheila Lust, thank you so much for the super chat. Like I said, my man talking about people hating on Canelo. Like I said, I why everybody talking about Canelo? Forget him. Don't talk about him anymore. Your favorite fighter, who has he fought? Your favorite fighter. If, if Canelo's the worst, that's fine. 
your favorite fighter. Who is he fighting? Your favorite middleweight. Who is he fighting? Tell me. <laughs> your favorite middleweight. Who is he fighting? I want him to fight Canelo. Man, there's Andre out there. There's Charlo out there. Triple G out there. And they're not fighting each other. That's all I know. Danny Jacobs out there. They're not fighting each other. That's all I know. Man, so I... <laughs> I ain't thinking about Canelo either. But y'all got to fight. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> y'all got to fight, bro. Exactly. Yeah, all I know is Canelo fighting Billy Joe Saunders and about to fight Kayla Plant. Canelo's doing his thing. Go ahead, Canelo. Y'all got to fight, though. What are y'all doing? Fight each other. That's why I love Derek Chisora versus Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker ain't thinking about AJ and Tyson Fury winner. Joseph Parker fought Junior Fa, beat him. Let's go to Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora called him out. Joseph Parker said, let's go. Bet. We're fighting, bro. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> get get him in. Get him in. Forget the politics. That's what we're pushing on this channel. Forget the politics. Who's fighting next? We all tune into them. Before you know it, people are going to be like, we got to start fighting because the showbiz adult community is watching them other people and they're getting paid. Hit the Tyson Bell. Mess around and... And people start becoming pay-per-view fighters. Maurice Hooker, pay-per-view fighter now. Because we're giving them the views. That's where I'm at, bro. If you're fighting, you get the views. That's I'm done with the Twitter fingers and the Instagram and the and and the, the videos of spar of, of you hitting the pads and showing a, a sexy body and all. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm looking, look at the stare down right here. Virgil Ortiz is stare down Maurice Hooker right now. They're about to fight right now. I'm about combat. Here we go. Hit the Tyson Bell. Here we go. The taker. Teofimo Lopez fighting George Cambosos on Triller. <laughs> what the hell is Triller? We the only thing we knew about Triller was Mike Tyson. He's fighting. <laughs> I don't care. Uh gonna be, yeah, this is it. Gonna be fireworks. Let's go. Let's go. Maurice Hooker is very anxious. That's my problem with Maurice Hooker. All right, here we go. Good jab to the body by Ortiz. Maurice is shooting a jab. Double jab for Maurice. Dude, Ortiz looks good. His head movement looks good. See, that's the thing about Hooker. Hooker, Hooker looks soft around the midsection, though. That's the thing about Hooker. Hooker uh, uh, is so fluid with his punches. Look, he's, he's throwing them from the shoulders. He's, oh, good left hook from Ortiz. See, that's, see, see, Hooker be falling in love with his punches. Ortiz countered him. Oh, right hand from Ortiz. I think he kind of hurt Hooker with it. Oh, God. Uh, Hooker's about to go. He's about to go. He's about to go, bro. He's about to go. Hook, Hooker's about to go, bro. Good, good right hand from Hooker. Oh, good right hand, Hooker. Good right hand. See, Hooker keeps his hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 good right hand from Hooker. <laughs> Hooker throwing all straights. No hooks. All straights. Ortiz just walking. Oh, Lord. Oh, good combination from Ortiz. Oh, the or Ortiz threw a hook, but Hooker blocked it. He blocked it. Oh Lord, I, I, Ortiz may knock him out, bro. Or Jesus, Ortiz is walking through everything and stepping forward. Get two right hands from Hooker. The Hooker going to let his go. That's my that's my thing with Hooker. He's good right hand from Ortiz. He's going to let his hands ride. <laughs> that's my problem with. Him. He's going to feel his hands from the shoulders. Throw him from the shoulders, Hooker. Throw him from the shoulders. Oh right hand. Oh no. Hooker! Oh my God! Ortiz just just walking him down. Oh Lord! Those those straight rights from Ortiz is, is nasty. No, nope. Ortiz pushed his head down. Hey, Ortiz is feeling like this is a walk in the park. It's strange. He feels like it's a walk in the park because because Hooker is all oh, is throwing fantastic. Oh, Big Swift just misses from Hooker. Misses. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do Ortiz been been training with the best of them? He must have been sparring Mikey Garcia and everything, bro. Like this here, he looks he looks he looks fabulous. He looks oh good jab from Ortiz. Look look at the the earmuffs. Look look oh see 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 Hooker about to get knocked out. He got Hooker against the ropes throwing bombs. See oh good jab the jab from Ortiz is Oscar De La Hoya level. Do, oh good right hand from Ortiz. See. See, Hooker problem is he's going to throw with him. He's oh no, oh no. So hey, I think it was T. Somebody said uh 
uh, Richard Comey, Teofimo Lopez vibes. And that is right on the nose <laughs> at this point. This is, is right on the, oh, the body shot from Ortiz was, was devastating. This is a very comfortable fight for Ortiz. Oh, <gasps> good right hand from Ortiz. This, this is a comfortable fight. It's comfortable. Oh, good one. I cannot believe a guy is, oh, good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, they, they swigging on each other. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe a guy as good as Maurice Hooker is, is a walk in the park. He's a walk in the park. Oh, my God. Nice size crowd, too. My God. Keep your range, Hooker. That's not Hooker. Brother is not. That was my problem. What I tell you, Biz. Yes, you did. You told me. That was you, right? Billy Joe Jip, you told me dead at, right on. That's not that's not Maurice. Maurice is going to let his string. That's my that was my whole problem. <laughs> is Maurice is going to love his hands. He let his go, and it's great until you fight a guy like Ortiz, who is going to be very smart and selective with his punches, and they're coming very hard and accurate. That's a problem when you're here with it. That's a problem. Look at look 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 look. Hooker hasn't learned. He doesn't care. He hasn't learned. Watch him. Watch him. Cause 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 don't forget. Uh, uh Robert Garcia trained Jose Ramirez to beat Hooker too. So he knows. He knows what to do. Robert Garcia sitting there like, hey man, hey he's gonna let his hands go. Just swing within the let go and select your punch as well. Look, 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 look at you. Oh, see the combination. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Hooker. Oh my the the funk that that Ortiz is throwing. He he missed, but the funk. Good right. See a good combination. And 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 Ortiz gave him two to the head, uppercut to the stomach. They're 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 in a phone booth. He, and there's a ball of lint on the back of uh, uh, Hooker's head. I don't know where it came from. He hit him so hard. There's a spider web on the back. Of his head. He got a full spider. Oh, oh, okay. That's grease. I know what that was. <gasps> Dog, that right hand from Ortiz spent, just spent. Look, look. It, it doesn't discourage Hooker. <laughs> Dog, this guy is Bob Foster reincarnated, bro. Like, Hooker can care less. He's throwing his hands. Look, lead left hook. He's throwing them. It, it doesn't matter. He doesn't, it, boy, he's about to get slept to a level of, of comatose. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Ortiz is selecting. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Ortiz just swung him to the ground. Showbiz, a better way. <laughs> Boxing <of> television. <laughs> hey, hey, no, dog. High low. This here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big swing in the middle. Oh, right hook to the body from Ortiz. Hey, brother, you got me rocking like, got me rocking like Ray, dog. I'm like, I'm, hey, 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 calm down, Hooker. You don't have to, you don't have to, calm down, calm down. Rhythm, rhythmic, jab. <laughs> Move, see, he let his hands go. One, two, one, one, two. He, he trying to punch Ortiz off of him. And all that, see, left hook, all that does is give Ortiz range. Oh, this is where your jab is, like Canelo. You feel what I'm saying? So now he's stepping through the shots and he's he's letting Hooker set the measuring stick. Oh, this is where you at. This is, oh, you're going to keep letting me receive data so I can know where you are. Look, 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 look at the rhythm of, of Hooker. One, two, body shot. And oh, good, good footwork, Hooker. Good jab to the ow. He punched him in the neck, dog. He punched he punched Hooker in the neck. <laughs> brother, brother, I <laughs> The jabs from Ortiz. Oh, he got Hooker against the ropes. It's it's not it's not going to be long. It's, it's not going. Hooker, Hooker. Yeah, nice way to let you. Oh, good jab from Ortiz. Oh God, the jab splitting the guard. Hooker, Hooker. Good jab. Now get back. Step back. Spinning. Oh, good right hand. Hooker, you stuck it. Oh Lord. Oh, oh my goodness. It just woke Ortiz up. And or good fight. Somebody is going night night. I can't even eat my uh, fettuccine. Hooker is getting suckered into trying to show he got balls. That's Hooker's. That's how he fights. That's how he fights, man. He's a mere con. 
That's how he fights. You feel me? Look, look at Hooker. Hooker is talking to Bo Mac. He like, now what do I do now? It's like Bo Mac's like, brother. He's tapping him on the chest. Brother, slow down. Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. Jab. Pot shot. This like dog. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, here, here we go. Here we go. There you go. He's slowing down. He's circling. It looked a good jab. There you go, Hooker. Now, there you go. That's it, Hooker. That's the pace. Jab. There you go. Slow down. Third round. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Side to side like a windshield wiper. There you go. They you feel your shit. They, I'll be like, ooh. Boy, good jab for Mortiz. Jab. There you go, Hooker. Chill out. Side up. <laughs> Chill out. Side to side. Shoot the jab. Pow. There you go. Now sit back. Pow. There you go. Lee left hook. Pow. There you go, Hooker. There you go. Now, the, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now move your head, move your head. He, he threw Ortiz through two. Now move. Now swim without getting wet. Now, don't let that happen. He, you know Ortiz did a side side step, left up, uh, left hook. There you go uh, Hooker jab. There you go jab. There you go hook. There you go. Now go. bam overhand right. Now chill, 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 chill. You get see he landed a good shot. Now it got good to him. Chill Hooker. Heh. Chill. Hooker threw like four, a combination of four. Chill. Right hand. Oh. Boom, boom. But see, 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 Hooker, Ortiz hit him once. Hooker let his hands go. Now, now Ortiz about to open up on him. See, Hooker, you were doing, oh, God, the left hook from Ortiz while Hooker was throwing the left hook to the body. Hooker, that's sh sh Boy, you are your, you are your, oh, God. good right hand, left hook by Ortiz. Boy, you ain't never going to learn. You are your worst enemy here. Fantastic fighter. My God, you're a fantastic fighter. But don't trade with him. Don't nibble on the barrel. Pull the trigger. Don't trade with him. Just don't get, shoot the jab. Ortiz moving his head. Right hand. Left hook just missed from Ortiz. There you go, hooker. Just, oh, gosh. Crushing blow to the body. Okay, left hook, hooker. Good, good jab. Now get out of there. Swim without getting wet, hooker. You hit him with a good jab. Now, get out. There you go. Get back on your hooker. Good right hand from hook. Now shoot the jab. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ortiz, every jab, everything got a <gasps> right hand from Ortiz, brother. Oh, gosh. Right to the body. From oh, gosh. Hook, hooker, hooker's balling his lip up. Hooker's balling his lip up. When that happens, yo, there you go. There you go, hook. There you go, hook. Uppercut. Uppercut, hook. Left hook. There you go, hook. Now jab. Swim without getting wet. Ortiz shot a jab at him right off the top of the forehead. Hooker's busy. He's winning the round, I think. <laughs> or maybe, I'll, maybe I'm just hoping he has a good one. <laughs> I, I think Hooker's winning the round. I, I, it may be 2-1. Oh, Lord. Good jab from Ortiz. Come on, come on, Hook. Every time Ortiz lands a jab, Hooker heads fly back 40 feet. It's like, come on, bro. There you go. Good combination from Hook. Woo! Big swing and a miss. Hook, Hook said, yeah. Swam without getting wet, baby. Shoot the jab. Bam! Left Hook. There you go, Hooker! He won that round. He looked at Ortiz and said, huh? Ah! Okay, now we got to fight. Now we got to fight. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Uh-uh, a little red. Ortiz got a little red on his eye. He's blinking. Okay, Hooker. Hooker, go back. Now, what Hooker needs to do is go back to chilling. Look, look, bam, swim without getting wet. There you go, Hooker. He said, there you go, Hooker. Bo Mac, when Bo Mac touched him on the chest, said, hey, brother, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Look, look, he, 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 looked, he looked at Jamel Herring and him. He said, I got it. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Bo Mac was like, hey, brother, same thing. Same G, a different toilet. Shoot the jab. Pop. Here we go. Calm down. Shoot the jab. Shoot it from the shoulder. Okay. Ortiz hit him with the body. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. Oh, uppercut from Ortiz. Good combination from Hooker. They got all three for Ortiz? That's a lie. Oh, good hook to the body from Ortiz. Oh, good jab from Ortiz. They're, they're lying. That that last round was a guard. Good jab from Ortiz. Oh, Lord. Good jab from Ortiz. Ortiz's hands are so heavy, bro. It's just it's just devastatingly heavy. Good jab for uh, Hooker. 
There you go. There, yeah, keep the guard out a little bit further. Let let his arm let his arms uh drown in your oh lord. Good left hook to the body from Ortiz. Oh lord. Ortiz is just bringing this guard down for, by flicking to the body. He's just bringing this guard down. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Good jab by Ortiz. Oh lord. Uh, oh, good hook to the body from from Ortiz. God, this is a fantastic fight. There's a lot of gloves being a lot of oh right hand from from Hooker, 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 calm down. Hooker start throwing combinations. Calm down, calm down, calm down. We don't, we don't want that because that guy could come up for air and and spin your head like the Exorcist, bro. You're just good, good. Now get out of there. Good left foot. Bam, shoot the jab. Take that with you, right? Throw the right hand. Good jab to the chest, Hooker. Move, swim without getting wet. Good jab to the body from uh, Virgil Ortiz. Jab back from Hooker, just missed. Uh, but, ooh, Ortiz came with that uppercut, just missed. Good double jab from Ortiz. Hey, Hooker. Right hand just missed. Just swim the other way. The other way. The other way. The other way. Hooker, you're going the wrong way. Good combination, Hook. You punch him with him, Hook. Then you swim. There you go. He let his hands go. Then he got out of there. There you go, Hook. Now shoot shoot the jab to the body. Shoot the jab to the body. Shoot the jab to the body. Oh, God. Ortiz hit him with a jab. Almost crushed his face. Good jab again from Hooker. There you go. Hooker's feeling himself. He's doing one of these numbers. Hey. Right hand just missed. Jab. He's busy. He's busy, but busy right. Okay. Ortiz circling. Ortiz is trying to find his, his rhythm again. Good jab to the head. Jab to the body from Ortiz. Now, it's hard for Ortiz to find. <gasps> Good right hand from Hooker. Oh, gosh. Ortiz threw a punch while Hooker was throwing his. I feel he was about to break his rib. Ortiz, or uh, Hooker that got the best of that with that right hand. He's throwing it from the shoulders. He's throwing it from the shoulder. Oh, look at the right. Look at the right from Ortiz. That right hand is going to cancel Hooker's night if he's not careful. It's going to cancel his night if he's not careful. Good jab, Hook. It's going to cancel his night. Ortiz going to throw that right hand. It's going to cancel his night. Good check left hook, Hook. Ooh, God. Ortiz is fast. I He's faster than I thought. Ortiz is faster than I thought. I, I, I give him this. Got to give him some credit on his hand speed. He, good right hand from Hooker. Hooker's winning this round. He's winning this round. Good uppercut from he's he's no he's winning around it, it, now they're gesturing at each other hooker it's two two it's two two yeah it's two two look Errol Spence in there in the in the stands with Derek James is that his wife got to be sure he's sitting there with somebody he looks he looks glossed he's been drinking bro. The arrow look lost. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Every time you see arrow out somewhere, you think he's been drinking. That's that's us. That's that's our fault. That's our fault. <laughs> Hooker got the game plan. Yeah, he got the game plan now. Yeah, yeah. My man tripping with that three zero. It's two two all day every day. It's two two all day every day. Mm -mm. It's two two. It's two two. I'm, I'm I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill that uh, fettuccine. Dog. Hooker is snapping. Spence likes the bottle. <laughs> no, no, no. Spence, Spence, all right. Spence, all right. He, he's chilling. He got his wifey with him. He's chilling. All right, here we go. Fifth round. Good jab to the body from Ortiz. Jab up top from Hooker. Good jab from Hooker. Oh, uppercut from Hooker. Good jab. Oh, good jab to the body from Ortiz. And they're both jabbing each other. Boom. Good. They, they're trading jabs. Oh, God, every jab from Ortiz. Oh, Lord. Every, oh, gosh. Oh, right. Hey, 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 Hooker, 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 relax, relax. If you hit Hooker once, he opens up. He, op he's op he opens up like a son of a gun. See, that, the, you got to be, oh, good jab from C. Ortiz. See, Hooker is not going to let Ortiz land anything because if he does, if he lands anything significant, Hooker's going to try to return with the combination. If I was Ortiz, as soon as I land something significant, significant, I'm staying in the battle because I'm because you could catch Hooker then. Oh, they both land on each other. Good, good body shots from Ortiz. They're landing on each other. Nice. God, the body shots. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. It's yeah. Here we go. Here we go, bro. Here we go. Ortiz is hunting him down. He in with some crazy body body shots. Caught him with an uppercut. Yeah. You know what? It was a good go, Hooker. It was a good go. You did the best you could. You did the best you could, but the end is nigh, bro. You did the best you could, though. I, I swear. I swear to you. Good jab to the body. Jab to the head from Hooker. 
you did the best you could. You did a right thing. Oh, my God. But now Virgil Ortiz is throwing shots with a lot of funk on it. He really is. Oh, dog, the the body, yeah, he 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 he, squ- he grimaced, right? H- uh, Virgil Ortiz is hitting body shots that's making him grimace, bro. Uppercut, you did you did good, you did good, Hooker. You did well, you did swell, you did it, and you did your best, baby. You did your best, cause now Virgil Ortiz got him against the ropes and he hit him with some hard shots. You did your best, uh, Hooker. Love you like a play cause. Love you like a play cousin. Good, good uppercuts, good body shots. Oh, good hit. I love you like a play cousin, baby. Oh, good hook, Bob. There you go, hooker. Nice way to fight back. Nice way to fight back. Yeah, yeah. I eat your bullets. I eat your bullets. Oh, God. Good, good right hook. Oh, oh. Good right hand from, from, uh, or, oh, Lord. Good jab from Ortiz. Becoming easier and easier to hit. And it all started with the body shot. Oh. Good, good, good hooks to the body, Hooker. Good hooks to the body. Oh, Hooker is bending over the ninety de- degree angle, trying to protect the body. It, yeah, Hooker's face. His face is telling the story. It, there's still ten seconds left. His face is telling the story. He's just, he just ah, ah. Virgil Ortiz bent him over and then hitting with uppercut, stood him straight up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. Oh, look at how, do you see what, what Hooker did? He walked away and did this. That's, I know that far too well. When I get up in the morning, you got to stretch that back. <laughs> you make that face. You got to stretch that back. That's what he did. I usually, I do that when I'm drunk too. You know, try to look like a gentleman. He, he straightened up and look and try to look like a gentleman. Okay. And walked in the corner with pride. All right. Uh, that's it though. That's it. It was a good go. I love Hooker to death. That was a good go. I love you like a play cousin, baby. That was a good go. That's all I needed, Maurice. You did your thing. You showed everything you had in the arsenal. Hook Hooker gave him oh those those hooks to the body from Virgil Ortiz were just you know just nasty. Oh God, he hit him right on the belt line. Oh Lord, you know. But you know what though? I know what Hooker had. I know what Virgil Ortiz is about. Good, good work, Hooker. Good work. There you go. Hooker shooting the jab. He's he going to get one last stand. He's giving one last stand. Hooker shooting the jab. Sixth round. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the sixth round. One, two from Hooker. Body shots from Ortiz. Oh, the body shots, bro. That's that, that's that Canelo Laura stuff right there, man. Good jab to the body from, or, from Ortiz. Good jab to the body from Hooker. Oh, sh- Brother, he is turning into Ortiz is turning. Oh Lord, that jab is like a uh, that it's like a pole. It's just like ping. It's 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 so just piston like good right hand hooker. It's so oh, dude, that jab is knocking. It, it's almost like an uppercut. It is a Sunny Liston piston type of jab. It's shooting straight from the shoulder. It's very hard to see to tell. The speed, and before you know it, your head is flicking back. Go ahead, or uh, Hooker. Good, good combination, baby. Good combination. Dude, that jab from Ortiz is, oh, good. That body shot from Ortiz was was tremendous. This is a fantastic fight, though. Good jab from Ortiz. Fantastic fight. It looks good. It looks very good. Good body shot. See, Ortiz was throwing the body shot, and see, look, look, look at Hooker's face now. He's like. Ortiz was throwing it, and Hooker was, dude, he didn't even get hit with it. And he was like, oh, God, the body shots are just, oh, my God. Hooker's throwing combinations, but 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 Ortiz is really being being evil. Good job from Ortiz. He is just violently evil. And, and Errol Spence is looking at him, too. He got a hat like J.J. from Good Times. He's, he's looking at him, and he's like, that's exactly what I, oh, good job from Ortiz. Errol Spence is like, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Rip into his body like nobody's business. There ain't too many body snatchers better than Errol the Truth Spence. I'll tell you that right now. Good, good uh, right from Hooker. It, it doesn't have as much funk on it as it. Brother, the jab, okay? Ortiz's jab is the punch of the night. It's the punch of the night, all right? Because it's about to be 4-2-4. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. He, he, he's down. He's down. 
the body shots. And then he started hitting him in the head. He's down. Uh, Ortiz knocked down Hooker. Hooker's down, and Hooker's looking around. He got to get on his feet. Get on your feet, Hooker. You never go out like that. Ortiz, it, last 20 seconds left in the sixth round. Yeah, dog, he opened up. Ortiz really opened up. A start. It, this, this is fantastic. Oh, good body shot. The body shot. <gasps> 10 seconds left. You never know, Hooker. Hang in there. Oh, hey, Hooker, don't, don't trade with him. What are you doing? Don't trade with him. Don't trade with him. Jesus. Take it easy. Get your, get your bearings back. Oh. Get your bearings back. Oh, my goodness. Just, just get your bearings back. Oh, Lord. The thing is, the thing is, he has no uh, uh, showbiz, the next level of boxing entertainment. My man. The, 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 thing, the thing is, the thing is, he doesn't have any power now. The body, so do that uppercut, <gasps> brother. Look at, do you see Ortiz's face? His face looks like he's trying to, he's going for the kill. This is Maurice Hooker. This isn't Joe Schmo. They're swinging. That oh, Hooker came off swing. Well, forget it, Hooker. You want to swing? Swing. You want to swing it? Swing it, Hooker. You want to swing? Swing. Let your hands go. You want to swing? Then swing. Okay, good, good hook to the body. Dog Ortiz is ripping him to the body. You want to swing? Oh, good right here. Oh Lord, dog. Hey, he just dropped it. Oh Lord. Oh, what's that? What was that? Oh, that was a ball bag shot. Oh Lord. They waved it. They waved it. It's over. Something happened to his arm or something. Was that? What? What was that? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. What happened? What happened to his arm? <laughs> oh Lord. He got hit and it, dog. That. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with him? Somebody tell me what's wrong with him. Oh, my God. He's sitting there on his knees. Bruh, what's wrong with him? Ortiz just let me know that he is an A-class welterweight. Now, Virgil Ortiz is A-class. What happened to him? What happened to him? What was it? He broke his hand. 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 I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Virgil Ortiz is an A-level welterweight. Why? Because he proved it. He just fought Maurice Hooker. It was a body shot. Broke hand. Elbow. Somebody called the Ambulam. Yeah. Somebody called the Ambulam. Because there's something. There's something wrong. Something's wrong in the bank. He broke his hand. He broke. Brother, I, I had no idea. That's the trouble with uh skinny guys. Man, yeah, yeah, I hear you. You mess around and hit something and it goes through your body. That. Um, Spinal, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, I guess the little sucker didn't help earlier, huh? Oh, my God. Well, give me, give me Virgil Ortiz versus Terrence Car Crawford. Give me Virgil Ortiz versus Terrence Crawford, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is everybody subscribe. There's a thousand, there's 1,700 of you up in here. All of you who haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Give me the Tyson Bell. Hit the subscribe button. We're about to be at 80,000 tonight. Don't forget, I have giveaways. Now they would duck Ortiz. Percy Moore, that's how you feel? Everybody, before you hit the subscribe button, everybody hit the like button. Don't forget, I have giveaways. I'm giving away an autographed uh, Anthony A.J. Joshua boxing glove. Oh, the left the left hit the elbow. Oh, that was a great right hand. No, 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 no. No, it was the right. It was the right hand. He didn't want any more. He didn't want any more. Maurice Hooker didn't want any more. He didn't want any more. He didn't want any more. Look, look, look. Watch the right hand. Watch the right hand. Oh, oh. It did hurt. It hit the top of uh uh Ortiz's head. My bad. It hit the top of Virgil Ortiz's head. Broke his hand. Look, watch, watch. He shot the jab. So yeah, I'm giving away. Yeah, that's what happened. I I'm giving away an autographed 
Anthony Joshua boxing glove to uh, to uh, a lucky subscriber. I'm also and it's and it's uh sponsored by busr.com. Go to busr.com forward slash showbiz. Place a bet on your favorite fights. A lot of you guys won the night. You put money on Virgil Ortiz. Somebody said they put five hundred dollars on Virgil Ortiz. You just got paid. Hit the Tyson veil. Everybody who put their money on busr.com forward slash your biz, you just got paid. And busr.com, I'll be talking to you about a Tyson Gypsy King Fury autograph boxing glove as, as well. We want both of those gloves because I already gave away an autograph Deontay the Bronze Farmer Wilder uh, boxing glove. And I want to give away an AJ and Fury to just, to, to just demonstrate how unbiased this channel is, what we do. We're all about boxing. We're not about boxer. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Everybody hit the like button. This was a fantastic card. I mean, this was just absolutely beautiful. Uh, just wars after wars after wars. This was a fantastic day for boxing. And Virgil Ortiz, fantastic win. I have a huge amount of respect for Maurice Hooker, for Bo Mack, for Jamel Herring, for Terrence Bud Crawford, everything that's going on over there. So for Virgil Ortiz to, to beat that to beat uh, Maurice Hooker, a uh, big 140-pounder. Uh, so he's really a 147-pounder. He just fought at a catchweight of 143. I think that that was a great win for Virgil Ortiz. Uh, I think he's a grade A uh, welterweight now. Show biz for adult. Everybody, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. I'm out of here. Huh? Man, what a fantastic. I got to eat my fettuccine. What a fantastic card. Golly.